Crime Boy Senpai, I'm sorry for messaging you so late. My phone's battery finally recharged, so I wanted to thank you while I could. You don't have to be so polite. It's just a decent thing to do. I just wanted to thank you for today. I'm sorry that thanks are... I'm sorry that thanks are all I can offer right now. I'll definitely make it up to you eventually. I'll be waiting. I'm glad. I promise I'll, it'll be worth the wait. I'll have my phone fixed as soon as possible. Please let Morgana Senpai know as well. Anyways, I hope you have a good night. Mm. If only Yoshizawa would join the Phantom Thieves. What a shame. And there's nothing we can do. Mm. Yeah, we, we shouldn't press the matter. So, uh, how are we going to break it to the others? Everyone's comments used to be so encouraging, but now they're actually kind of frightening. This is utter chaos. The public dislike of Okumura was, has grown exponentially as well. How are you holding up, Haru? We've been receiving anonymous threats almost every day now. That's scary. But our security is tight, so it's been okay so far. I believe things will calm down once we finish this, Haru. But what about us? Are we gonna get all popular and shit again? Let's not concern ourselves with that for now. I only pray that things calm down. <sighs> Guess we still have some problems to hash out. We could do more harm than help if we brought it up at this point. Maybe we'll just stay quiet about Yoshizawa for now. my father, there isn't anything different about him yet. I can't help but think about a lot of things when I'm just waiting. Things like, did it go well? Uh, relax. Thanks. I know that it's no use being anxious. <laughs> I guess I'll relax and look after the flower bed. I haven't been able to for a while. stories online about horrible hosts like Tsukasa all the time. However, we'll need solid proof of what he's doing if we're going to convince Eiko. I believe some of the promoters around here may know something. As my father always said, finding evidence takes serious legwork. What do you want? Hey! Eiko, your boyfriend is infamous around here for tricking girls into debt then forcing them to sell themselves. Moreover, he's probably doing it in conjunction with a criminal gang. You need to get out of here. You seriously came all the way here to tell me that? Ugh, get out of here, Makoto. I've had enough of your lying bullshit. I have testimony from one of the promoters in the area. You're not the first girl Tsukasa has lied to about a broken sake bottle. He doesn't ask for much at first, but the interest piles up. Eventually, he'll ask you to sell your body for money. Please, reconsider this relationship. Shut it! I already have a date planned with him for today. We're gonna stop by his club. So stay out of my way. Yo, did I make you wait, babe? I came a little late after seeing your text, but I guess you're already here. Hey yo, I know these guys. <laughs> Wanna hop on over to my club with us? It's gonna be a total blast. They were saying some bad stuff about you, honey. Like how you get girls into debt and then force them to sell themselves. You're lying to me, right? They're lying to me, right? Huh? You believe that crap? Uh, listen to me, uh, nothing like that's happening here. I'll, I'd never lie to you, princess. Hmm, it's always princess with you. Why can't you ever call her by her real name, Tsukasa? Or are there too many princesses in your life to remember? Tsukasa? 
<laughs> what are you freaking out for? You just texted me, remember? I could never forget you, Makoto. I see. I knew it. I'm the one who texted you. I'll be five minutes late today, baby. I even added tons of emojis at the end to make sure it seemed like Aiko. Admit it, every girl you get money from is your princess, right? You can't even remember names anymore. Don't you see, Aiko? This is who your boyfriend really is. B but you tricked him! What would you know about love, huh? Tsukasa is all I have. Just leave me alone, bitch! What? <sighs> Wake up! You already know the truth. You just don't want to believe it. Stop lying to yourself. But... Tsukasa is the only one who cares about me. Nobody else asks me about my day and how work is going. Nobody else treats me like I'm special. A perfect girl who lives up to everyone's expectations could never know how I feel. Stop trying to feed me your honor student bullshit. This has nothing to do with being an honor student. Just can't rest knowing there's such evil in the world. And I damn sure won't keep quiet while my friend has her life ruined. <sighs> As for you, apologize to Aiko and stay away from her from now on. Huh? You're really starting to annoy me with that shit, you bitch. Don't think I'll be easy on you because you're a trick. I'm gonna teach you a lesson you won't forget. I dare you. Hey, yo, your fight's with me. What? Was that you bastard? Reginald? I come from a long line of police officers. If you really want to start something, be my guest. What? Damn it, I'll remember this. He wasn't so tough after all. Sucks! Huh? I go! Whoa, did you see that? Was that girl fighting with a host? They were really going at it. People noticed what happened. We should get out of here. You're right. Right. Staying here now is only going to cause us more trouble. believe I actually hit one of my friends. Th that was the right move. I see. You know, I hope so. You know, I have a bad habit of acting in the moment. I can't help but swept up. I can't help but get swept up in emotion. That's why I always have to take extra care to keep myself composed. My father was the same way. But that's not the proper way to act. There's no telling what would have happened if you hadn't stepped in. Um... That aside, this place is... interesting. How did you ever find somewhere like this? You know so much. Yeah, I'm a regular here. Hmm. So you come often? It's hard to believe you're really a high schooler. You have so much more life experience than me. Honestly, spending time with you and getting to know Aiko has given me a great deal to think about. There's so much you can miss by living with your head buried between the pages of a book. I thought I knew how the world worked, but the more I spent time with you guys, the more I realized how naive I was. But... I see now that there are some things I need other people to teach me. Do you remember how Aiko said I would flunk a test of, about love? Well, um, I don't know how to study that subject. What should I do, Reginald? Hmm. I can't learn about romance by myself. 
I'll be your study partner. <laughs> can I can I be any more cringe by saying that, Jesus Christ? Uh, um, um, I'm not exactly the most well versed in these matters, so so allow me to, to confirm this. Um, <clears throat> um, do you like me? Yeah, I do. Oh, um, you really mean it, right? Well, uh, um, then... You see... If, um, if it's alright with you, let's start dating. For real. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> I look forward to, um, growing our relationship, um, t together. All right. You kids done with your little heart to heart yet? Uh, so, sorry about that. It's rude of us to stay here so long after only ordering tea. Oh, don't worry. Just a glimpse into this fresh drama of yours is the only apology I need. It's like a nice spritz of lemon in the air. Makes me think back to when I was just a wee girl. Well, um, right, well, we should be going. All right, then. Oh, hey, are you good to talk right now? Sorry, I, I knew we just saw each other. So, I think between us, we managed to help Aiko see the truth. I'd probably never have pulled this off alone. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'd do anything for you, baby girl. Wow, wow. Brown chicken, brown cow? Um, come on. Stop that. Somebody needs to tell me to stop it. But hearing that does make me happy. You're too nice to me. I'm thinking of calling Aiko once she calms down a bit, but I wanted to get a courage boost from you before I did. Yep, that helped. I, I I think I can talk to Aiko properly now. I guess b boy boy boyfriends uh, um really can be reliable. Oh um, I'll call you later. Okay, bye. All right. Now to go from best girl to worst girl. Woo! <laughs> hey, it's my number one guy! What kind of news you got for me? I'll smack you if it's not good enough. Hey, you sure you're okay? <laughs> what do you mean? You worried about me, Lala Chan? <laughs> you're usually kind of. <laughs> Man, I haven't seen her drink this much in forever. What? I haven't been drinking at all. I'm totally not drunk. It... Something bad happened? Oh, you're so, you're sharp, kid. Truth is, um, my quota got doubled. It's gotta take like four times as much work to get that much done, though. They're shackling me down so I don't have time for anything else. Ugh, my chief's such a shithead. Huh, he must not like you, or anyone like you for that matter. Yup, that bastard probably knows something's up. Damn it. Before this, I was starting to feel like a real journalist again. The rush of investigating Kaio's case, uncovering the dark secrets hidden away by our corrupt society, but now it's going to be impossible to run my investigation with this quota. That doesn't sound good. Of course it's not good, but what am I supposed to do? They'll fire me if I can't reach my quota. Hey, Lala-chan, if they fire me, can I live here? That still won't help my investigation, though. The incidents 
over a year old and the authorities aren't doing shit. <gasps> Maybe Kaya really was the true culprit. You, you should trust in her. That goes without saying. I mean, if I don't, who will? Watch your temper. <sighs> what am I doing? I mean, I'm the one who dragged Kyo into politics. It's my fault this ended up happening to her. You know, she started out in book publishing. Mostly taking photos of nature and wild animals. She was a genius behind the camera, though. That's why I thought she'd make the perfect partner for me. Hey, don't blame. You can't blame yourself. Kaio chan was just as set on exposing the evils of society as you were. Isn't that right? Shit. But if I didn't get her involved in the first place. Damn it, this incident is all my fault. That's why I've got, got to get to the bottom of it. Yeah, that's the spirit. Woo! Hell yeah. You know, it's weird how calm I get when I'm talking to you. That was not calm at all, sweet pea. It's almost like you actually understand me. No, further, furthest from the truth. No. Sorry. Oh, and I'm sorry for snapping at you earlier. The stress must have gotten to me. It's just all this quota business is driving me crazy. I'm going to have to put all my focus on that for now. I'm still on... I'll still be counting on you for Phantom Thieves stories, though, as long as you're up for it. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to ease off my investigation for a while, too. I don't need any more eyes on me. But I think but I might be able to ask some of my coworkers for help. Journalists will do anything for a scoop. Now then, I'll take my tidbits you have for me today. <laughs> Hope you don't mind if I get back to drinking, though. This whole conversation really sobered me up. I'm sure it did. Hey, kid. Thanks for spilling on the... On the, uh... Thanks for spilling on the Phantom Thieves earlier. If I'm being serious, I mean genuinely actually serious i really appreciate you i'm only able to meet my insane quota because of the info you gave me on the fan thieves i'll dig up some more for you to so shut the you the fuck up yeah keep it coming you're seriously dependable kid but yeah for now guess i'll leave the intel gathering to my partner in crime i gotta focus on meeting my quota i'll never give up on my own investigation Okay, let's call it a day. Looking forward to your next big scoop. Scoop you, bitch. Hmm. So the next promise is, learn about my generation. Wait, I think I can do the next one too. Have a normal conversation with a stranger my age. Hmm. Where can I find lots of young people? All right, well, let's go. Ain't no time like the present. Come on, let's go. Uh -huh. Wow, you guys have actually started getting pretty close. Not like that's a bad thing, though. Anyway, be careful out there. Mm. So we've arrived at the diner. I've heard all about the unlimited fountain drinks at these places. Well, where are they? I don't see them anywhere. Hi, crime boy? Oh crap, you're with a girl. Is this a friend of yours? Uh, friend might be a bit much. Oh, that's right. Hmm, how about I ask him to help with my promise? Hmm? What promise? Well... You just want to have a regular old conversation? So wait, you're saying that you, 
a girl want to talk to me. Yeah, I see. In that case, I guess I don't have a choice. Nope, none whatsoever. I'll just have to help you out. Really? Oh, you're so nice. My name's Futaba Sakura, and don't you forget it. Oh, uh, okay. I'm Yuki Mishima, but everyone just calls me Mishon. <laughs> it seems like help always comes my way when I need it most. <laughs> Maybe my luck stat's really high. <laughs> I think you're right. Heck yeah, I could probably roll a nat 20 right now if you ask me to. Let me see. So, you want to learn more about our generation? I doubt I'll, it'll be easy to explain. Youth, the unknown frontier. Maybe I should try talking about my hobbies. Um, do you like computers? Yes. Mm, I'm always online. Me too! What sites do you use? I usually keep to forums myself. Or are you more into streaming? I'd gladly subscribe to your channel. Wait, do you, do you by chance run one of those racy channels? You'd need to be super courageous to do it. Though, it certainly wouldn't be unwelcome. Kek. Whoa, that's the first time I've heard anyone actually say that aloud. Kek! Huh? Th that's all you took from that conversation? I see. Ah, I've got it. This overwhelmingly un- This overwhelmingly forgettable appearance, generic- speech style, and total lack of sex appeal. Nishima, are you an NPC? Nah, man, he's he's the protagonist right here. Really? Oh, I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. All right. Anyway, I'm glad you spawned here. I killed two promises with one Nishima today. Learn about my generation and have a normal conversation with a stranger my age. Ah, yeah! <laughs> I think I gained a ton of XP on this adventure. And it's all thanks, it's all cause you brought me here, Reginald. Thanks! Alright. So, um... Futaba-chan, it's okay if I call you that, right? I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> anyway, um, what are you doing after this? Going home. Yes. Oh, right. All right, let's do it. Ahoy! I did awesome today, huh? I mean, I cleared two goals in one day! That's not all. On my way home, I found a lost thing in the street, so I dropped it off at the police station! I'm a completely different person now! No more getting scared of the police! Come on, tell me I'm cool! You did great! <laughs> man, I love it when people tell me I did good. Though, I basically just left the thing on the doorstep. No way I'm actually talking to anyone in there. But I left a note and stuff, so still, mission complete, basically. Compared to the police, Nishima was nothing. He's like the first gym leader. At my current level, I can easily befriend an NPC like Nishima and... Eh, never mind. Anyhow, thanks again for today. Time to make it like a tree. Yep. <laughs> ah, you're back. Any changes, Haru? Nothing. Uh, unfortunately, Father is still indisposed. H how are things with you, Haru? Has anything happened with the media? I hope they haven't been horrible to you. Thank you. They will surely say a great deal about my father, but I am determined to push through it. 
Society doesn't care what may be going on as long as it is enough to kill their perpetual boredom. They don't even consider how their words may hurt others. They think caring about people is someone else's job. It makes me want to puke. There's nothing we can do about that, though. And everything they say about my father is true. But it's important to remember there are, was someone else in the shadows behind the shutdowns. Until we can bring their crimes to light, this won't end. We'll find the true culprit for sure! Naturally. Yeah, it's gonna be a hell of a good victory when we expose that criminal for who he really is. Either way, we'll need to wait for Haru's father to, to recover. We'll have plenty of time to ask him about it then. The one behind the mental shutdowns. It has to be someone dangerous. Now that we're getting closer to the truth, we need to be ready for absolutely anything. I quit the Ladies Professional Shogi Players Association. I need to start over as an amateur. Yeah, you'll triumph in the end. That's my intention. There were a lot of people who covered for me by saying that I was just being used by adults, but I'm the one who was most at fault. I was overconfident. If only I had taken a look at myself and properly assessed my shogi skills, I believed that with my skills, I could overcome being treated like an idol. There's nothing I can say about my mother. You didn't abandon me, even after you learned about the fixed matches. Now I know how encouraging it feels to have someone believe in you. At first, this was just a deal. You help me develop new moves and I give you shogi lessons. But before I knew it, you became someone I couldn't do without. I'm not going to pay attention to all the criticism anymore. This time, I'll earn everyone's praise with my own skills. Yeah, I believe in you. The reason I'm able to think this way is because you stuck by my side. I'm really grateful. I am thou, thy th All right. Well then, on to our final lesson. I truly hope that you... No. That the Phantom Thieves find my lessons useful. We do. I am honored to hear that from one of the Phantom Thieves. I spoke to you about my mother, and then my mother changed. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. If there's anything I can do to help, please know that you can rely on me. support you in whatever you want to accomplish. Now let's play a match. I have a lot of new moves I'd like to test out. I hope you're okay to stay here a while longer. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. Hey! How are the Phantom Thieves doing? Sounds like they had another success, huh? That's cool! Aww. War is still going on. It's probably because they think I'm weak. If only I was as strong as the Phantom Thieves. Hey kid, you may be small, but you played a great game! What? What? So being big is better? <laughs> My bad, I didn't mean it like that. I just thought we should be friends, since we're both gamers. The name's Takaka... Name's The name's Takakuma! Haha, got it. I made a... I make a living from gaming, more or less. Ever heard of me? Huh? Huh? Takakuma? The pro gamer? Yeah, you're the guy from all those videos online. And you're the one they call the king, right? 
I've always wanted to play you. But I don't know if it's a good idea. I mean, if I beat you, your rank will definitely drop. And I don't even need people bashing me for bullying a kid. You bastard! You just called me weak! That's it, we're playing! I won't lose! As I expected of the king. Okay, let's get this started. All right. I'm gonna win! I have to! No way! Wow. The king is being short! That's the ka ta ta ka uh, Takekuma, isn't it? Well, he's awesome! Awesome? Huh? I missed? The king lost! Doesn't count. Let's play again. You got it. Wow, that's ten losses in a row. The king got slaughtered. Ha! That's hilarious. <sighs> one more, one more game. No matter how many times we play, the end result will be the same. We should probably stop for your sake. Shut up. You bastard! You cheated, didn't you? Yeah, you tell him. Right? There's no way I could have lost. Man, I guess the king is just a little kid after all. Looks like I overestimated your ability. I'd feel bad beating you again, so I'm going to go. Make sure you practice for the next time we play. Damn it. You gotta be kidding me. Get so worked up. I'm not. I didn't lose. If I lose, it's all over for me. I'm gonna beat him next time for sure. This isn't over. Strongest always win in the end, just like the Phantom Thieves. Watch, I'll win for sure next time. I'm not a loser. You'll see. Late, I gotta go. What? Man, that Takakuma though. Hey, telling me to practice for next time? A grown up shouldn't spend so much time playing video games. The fuck you say to me, you little shit? You fucking take that back. Is walking on its hind legs. Is it a demon of some sort? Is there a king living in that castle? Should we pay him our respects first? The parade's starting. Go, go, go. What? What is that thing? It's huge. This gleeful music, the rhythmic, monotonous dancing, the grins plastered across every spectator's face. This overstimulation is making me grow dizzy. Ha! <laughs> this is a brainwashing scheme, isn't it, inmates? Everybody clap your hands! And are you brainwashed too now? Quickly, Caroline! Slap him back into reason! Failing that... Failing that, try your baton! It appears you're of sound mind now. Are you joking? Way to confuse us, stupid! Although, it... Way to confuse us, stupid! Although, it may benefit us to... Investigate just how they pull off such a per successful mass brainwashing. Justine, let us conduct an inspection of the premises. Lead the way, inmate. <laughs> that wasn't nearly as impressive as I expected. You say that now, despite appearing quite captivated before. What with your outbursts like, Oh, that bear is so cute, and let's get in line to meet the characters, and so forth. What? I, I said nothing of the sort! I was merely going through the motions in the guise of a... Brainwashed human. That's all it was. Come on. 
Look, Let's go. there's another one. Let's see where it goes. <sighs> I suppose we won't don't have a choice now. We had better catch up to her, inmate. <sighs> I can't believe we stood in line for I don't even know how long, and it only led to a bathroom. I was hoping we'd get to ride in one of those massive crazed teacups going around in circles. Hey, inmate! What was that, inmate? Look, when you gotta go... Understandable, but doesn't that mean the long wait time is a critical flaw? Hey, inmate! Don't you prefer your prison cell to this place? There's no line to use the bathroom there. Well, that was fun. I mean, that was a functional assignment. But we've had enough for today. Time to head back. Just a moment, Caroline. I have heard it so... I heard... I have heard it is customary to bring back some sort of token gift for one supervisor superiors after visiting a place such as this we should buy something for our master while we have the chance I perused the wares on to display earlier the mouse ears or the stuffed bear which do you think our master would prefer uh, definitely the stuffed bear the master Cuddling a stuffed bear. <laughs> uh, Justine? <gasps> it seems that even I could not avoid the brainwashing. Please keep this a secret from our master. In any case, we, we have confirmed the existence of a world of dreams. As such, we formally acknowledge your assignment as complete. Here is your reward. Look at the smiles on these people's faces. It's as if they've been liberated from their everyday lives. A human's desire to dream even reaches into their time in the making world, in the waking world. A rather curious phenomenon for us as we dwell in the space between dream and reality. Oh, is another brainwashing parade beginning? No. Let us we return. have no need for that again. Let us return in, mate. Hmm. This place never fails to amaze me, no matter how many times we come. Where does this passage even go? It seems it feels as though I'm being sucked inside merely by gazing upon it. So this is the heart of man. It is ugly, yet beautiful as well. That duality is what makes humanity such an interesting subject. As you know, I have been confused recently about the reason for my art. Did I want to be recognized or did I want to capture pure beauty? Was it due to my talent or just my upbringing? Each answer would seem correct at first, yet only prove itself false upon a more in-depth examination. Reginald, what are your thoughts? When my mother was painting the Sayuri, what do you think she was thinking about? Her love for her son. Such love is almost embarrassing to have pointed out to me but you are absolutely right but however I believe that was not the only thing she thought about it seems the Sayuri was meant to impart something to me and to all others who view it for that matter love regret loneliness anxiety calm and hope all of the emotions my mother felt conveyed plainly to the viewer. That is why it has such a profoundly unique impact on those who see it. My paintings pale in comparison to such depth of meaning. How could I have 
hope to convey pure beauty with my limited palette. And yet, that painting has kept me going this whole time. During particularly difficult nights, it was there to soothe my sadness. It acted almost as a ray of light cutting through the somber darkness. How could this be? I had wanted to create a similar beacon of hope for others, but it seems I lost sight of that goal. Look, this world is a lar dark, unrelenting place, Reginald. But that is why I am going to wield my brush again, to give hope to all those who see my paintings. You've really changed, Yusuke. Yes. Yes, thank you. You chose to help me work through my problems instead of leaving me to my sadness. Now, I will use my art to paint over the blackness of this world. It shall become a vivid realm full of hope. I expect it will be a most beautiful sight to behold. Perhaps you will see it someday, Reginald. Alright. <laughs> this radiant light gro growing within me. It might. It must be the light of hope. I shall paint it! Ah, you too. Oh. Kawanabe-kun. Kawanabe-san. On your way home? You clearly have time on your hands, Yusuke-kun. On my way now to prepare for the competition. Speaking of which, do you plan on entering? Indeed, I do. Your pride may not be too pleased with the outcome. After all, the winner's spot is not simply yours for the taking. I suppose whether you... Ultimately, opt to enter is entirely your decision, though. The more the merrier, yes? <laughs> I see. The winner's spot. Ah, yes. I was hoping to prove my talent to him by taking the top prize home. That no longer matters to me, though. I am going to enter my painting merely so others can be exposed to it. See you later. Well, I will talk to you later, Reginald. Farewell. Um, so you know that actor I suggested as your next target? Apparently, he's marrying the m idol from those rumors. He probably just couldn't live with himself after he what he did to her. His reputation did a total 180 after he announced the marriage, though. People used to hate him, but now all people everyone wants to talk about is how sweet and manly he is. At any rate... We can't oppose the will of the public. Good thing we decided not to change his heart. Support for the fan thieves would have really dropped if we had. I need to make sure our next target is one we can win against. And uh, what exactly will we win? <laughs> Proof! Proof that you were the ones doing the right thing. Actually... Oh, by the way, I came up with a new plan of attack. If we really want to make you guys famous, we need to do more than just answer promising requests. Right now, there are tons of idiots out there doubting you and trying to influence others to do the same. So we're gonna purge them. Dude, you really need to chill. Sorry. Sorry about that. Purge is a pretty disturbing word, huh? There's not really any better way to phrase it though. The truth is, I looked up some of these idiots who were criticizing you and sent them warning messages. You know, something like, if you can't change your wicked ways, you'll be our next target. I'll have you know, it's been working wonders. They totally stopped pissing the pea thieves. There are still some people who say they don't believe. But, deep down, they're just afraid of you guys. <laughs> Isn't 
this great? Plus, now that all those haters are gone, people are putting a bunch more info on the forum. Post after post after post. It's all, please, and help me. <laughs> this is so much fun. Fun? All I did is find my own way to change people's hearts. I'm above the simple stuff like producing and advertising now. I can change the world. I have the strength to do that now. Oh. Eh? <sighs> Akiyama-kun. Yo, Mishima, I, I haven't seen you since graduation. <laughs> we actually saw each other here not that long ago. Oh yeah, I, I guess you're right. Hmm? Akayama-kun? What? Are you okay? B what do you mean? Does it look like I ain't okay? I don't know, you just seem quiet. Shut your mouth, Zero. I don't got time to be listening to you. Zero. Damn it. He acts like I'm a total nothing. But he still makes time to try and mess with me. I've changed though. I'm way better than a loser like him. I have- I even heard he's been hanging out with some shady people. They're all scum. I wish we could change their hearts for the good of our society. Oh, wait. That's it. We could change this heart instead of that actor's. Alright, it's decided. Your next target is going to be Akiyama-kun. Let's see, where's his info? Um, speaking of targets, are you guys going to come after me someday too? We very well might. Huh? You're really considering it? <laughs> Good joke, crime boy. See you around. Anyway, I'm heading home. I'll send you Akayamakun's info later. <sighs> so he just wants to get revenge on a guy who made fun of him. Didn't he give us some other weird request too? Something about that handsome actor? Is Mishima-kun trying to take advantage of us? Apparently, he has also threatened anyone who dares speak ill of the Phantom Thieves on his forum. Perhaps we should enact a change of heart on Mishima, not this Akiyama fellow. Wait, hold on! Whoa, hold, wait up! He ain't that bad! Yep! Hmm, I guess we could find out what's happening if we manage to find his shadow. I mean, he's already worried about we're gonna change his heart, right? We'll probably be able to track down his shadow and mementos. All things considered, I think our best course of action would be to defeat it and change his heart. Hmm. Mishima-kun. It feels almost wrong to consider such an option. But... We can't have him keep causing problems for us, though. Either way, we can decide whether or not we change his heart later. For now, we must meet his shadow. All right, let's go. Now, let's carry out our plan. Let's head into Mementos and track down Mishima's shadow. <gasps> Who are you? Could you be the Phantom Thieves? So you want to change my heart, even after everything I've done for you guys. Me, of all people. If you just shut up and listen to what I told you, the Phantom Thieves would get even more famous. And if you did that, I'd get some of the spotlight too. I wouldn't be just some stupid zero anymore. There's finally some hope back in my life. So why? Why are you so insistent on stopping me? Yo, losers, get out of here. 
I want to talk to my to your leader alone. This is all your fault. Before you came along, I knew my role in life. I was supposed to be the guy everyone messed with. I had accepted that I was a zero. Embraced it even. But once I figured out you were one of the Phantom Thieves, everything changed. You just had to get close to me. Damn it. I mean, seeing a real life hero do all this amazing stuff made me wish I could be something more. I want to change society too. I want the world to notice me. If I can just make the Phantom Thieves famous, maybe I'll end up famous too. Would that really satisfy you? I don't know. I'm not sure, but I don't have any other choice. I don't have any special powers like you guys. Heck, nobody even pays attention to me. In the end, that's why I need you guys. You're the only way I'll be able to make a name for myself. I know it's wrong, but if I can't push my way into the spotlight now, when will I? Anyway, just bring it on already. You're here to fight, aren't you? What? You aren't going to change my heart? Do it yourself. Hey, come on, let's go. I'm sure he learned something if he's been spending all this time with us amazing heroes, yeah? No, no! I need the Phantom Thieves! I need to be famous! I need to. I... Did you see that limited edition model? They're so high quality. Way better than cheapos. The subtle facial expressions, even the little wrinkles on the clothes. Oh, I want it so bad, but you but you could get sushi ten times with that kind of money. Work a part-time job? I see! Oh, that's it! But what part-time jobs could I even do? Not customer service, that's for dang sure. Hmm, fine, I guess I'll just have to settle for staring at it. Okay, next up. Wait a second. That guy's definitely bad news. I mean, I don't want to say he's Yakuza, but... Listen, let's just wait for him to leave. Don't make eye contact, okay? Oh, he's not scary. Well, <laughs> look who it is. Yeep. Yo. Hey, didn't think I'd bump into you here. He's talking to us. We're dead. Who's the little lady? Basically, my sister. Basically. Huh. Sounds complicated. Still, not like I'm in a place to judge. You know this guy? He's my boss. <laughs> like for a job? I guess you could say that. Wait, like that military store? Oh, you know it? Yeah! Uh, I mean, yes sir. Relax, kid. I don't bite. What brings you here? Oh, me and these guys go way back. They distribute some of my wares here. Wares? What about that model gun in the second floor display case? 
Oh, uh, yeah, that's probably one of ours. The level of detailing on that one was, like, crazy. Like, the barrel shape and even the, the metal texturing was perfect. That kind of authenticity is hard to find. <laughs> well, you know your stuff, old lady. You ought to drop by the store, the shop sometime. I got plenty more models for someone who can appreciate them. Really? Yeah, really. See you around. <laughs> He's kind of scary looking, but he seems like a nice guy. Stage is set. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it, but... I know you're not going to be my right-hand man, right? Don't worry, I, I won't pull any tricks. Feel free to talk about being falsely accused. I'll handle whatever comes from it. I saw Kuramoto's grandson around here somewhere. I bet he's curious about today's speech. I see. I haven't spoken to him since we last met. The speech should serve as your response to him. I didn't think any of the parties would back no good Torah. He's going to talk about the Phantom Thieves, right? I couldn't care less about him. I'm just interested in hearing about the Phantom Thieves. Very well. Okay, I'm going to get started. Break a leg. Yes. <laughs> Will do. Everyone. The reason they're causing such a stir is because they are addressing the world's problems. What are you doing, Tarano? Tara to Toranosuke? Toranosuke. Setting aside whether your actions are right or wrong, there is one thing I can safely say about the Phantom Thieves. A belief with conviction has the ability to move a person's heart. I... I'm sure you are all aware that I am no good Torah, the one accused of embezzlement. I was a fool 20 years ago. It's no wonder that I was considered a failure as a politician. However, because I was accused like that, I was able to understand the suffering of the weak. The most important why am I in politics? In the past, it was merely for personal gain. But why do the Phantom Thieves continue to change hearts? I believe they do it for the world and its people. And in choosing to do justice for others, they had no choice but to disguise themselves. No matter what the world says, I fully support them. I... I'm just an average citizen. However, I will continue to voice my beliefs. I may not be able to become a Diet member this election, and I may not be able to affect change during my lifetime. However, but I've made my peace with that. I will be happy, as long as I can be a meaningful stepping stone for the future of our youth. Thank you for listening. I set the stage for nothing. Do you have no intention of accusing old man Kiramoto? Yes. That's right. Sheesh, such a heartfelt speech for someone your age. People are probably laughing at you as we speak. I doubt any of them were moved by your words. I might be the only one in this entire city who has. Who was? That's a sheeta. Proceed as you wish with your candidacy. I'll take measures to ensure the party backs you. Within the limits of my abilities, of course. Goodbye. Mm. My candidacy, huh? What an unexpected turn of events. The fan of these. Perhaps it's the effect of you moving my heart. You had a change of heart. That must be it. Still, I have you to thank for all this. Phantom Thieves. Power to change a person's heart. I don't possess a special power like they do, but I don't but I won't lose to them when it comes to conviction. Speech is my only weapon. Just my voice and my words. That's how I win people over. Thank you. Thank you for sticking by my side, my boy good. Come 
Contrary to what I thought, getting your heart stolen isn't such a bad thing. If he's a member of the Phantom Thieves, then... Ah, I'm talking to myself again. Another bad habit of mine. Time to finish up for today. Good job. <laughs> Holy crap! This mouse is so big! A two-handed mouse? That's nuts! And this keyboard is too curvy. How do you even type on this thing? Man, nice! This PC build competition is right up my alley! Have you ever built your own PC before, Reginald? Of course! Yeah! Huh? Really? What? Huh! You're more of a techie than I thought! You might even be a PC master! What were the specs? What P CPU did you use? How much RAM did you put in it? Ooh, did you, did you overclock it? How did you handle cooling it? <laughs> we we should go to keep it together sometime, Reginald. Hey! Can't stop thinking about my battle with the Takakuma. I mean, I couldn't do anything then. There's just no way. It was pretty weird. Right? I knew you would understand. I've been practicing a lot, after all. I've heard rumors about Takakuma. Maybe it's... People say he uses cheat armor. You know what that is, right? He totally broke the rules by equipping it. I bet that's why my usual shots didn't work against him. That has to be the reason. But the next time we play, I'm definitely... All right. I'm definitely gonna demolish him. I'm sure you can do it. Yep. Even the fan thieves had a comeback victory against Mejid. I'm gonna win next time. Just watch. Hey! The thing is, I told my mom about what happened with Takakuma, but she didn't really care. All she said was, okay. It's probably because I lost. She doesn't like kids who lose. My mom once told me that. We need to be strong, because it's just the two of us. She said no one helps the weak. They just get preyed on. That's why I want to get stronger. Strong enough that we won't get preyed on. Strong enough that we'd be the predators. That's exactly who the Phantom Thieves are. The strongest. Who can prey on anyone. Once I've become the strongest, my mom will be able to count on me. The only way I can win is through games. That's why I can't lose. What should I do about Takakumi's armor? The strategy I used last time didn't work. Need a new strategy. Of course! I'm definitely gonna win next time. Thanks. You're kinda like a big brother to me. I can talk to you about anything. I heard that that's what it's like to have a sibling. Alright. Takakuma better watch out. Ah. Crap, look at the time, I gotta go! Later! Oh, Cranbison! I, uh, appreciate your input on that issue today. <laughs> I sound like a grown-up, huh? Yeah, my mom says that a lot on her conference calls. That Takakuma. Even think about him pisses me off. I'll beat him next time for sure. But since he might be cheating, normal training isn't gonna cut it. I gotta think of a new strategy by the next time I challenge him. I'll be cheering you on. Thanks. I feel like I'm ready. I feel like I'm right on the edge of a good idea. Once I figure some, everything out, you should come train with me. I gotta be the best, or else my mom won't. Well, I'll definitely see you and I win next time. See ya. Ah, you're back. Tomorrow is the day of the arrangement with your fiance. 
It'll, I'll be okay, though. The state of my father is in... The state my father is in has put that on hold for the time being. Woo! We accomplished one of our goals! That doesn't mean my marriage has been called off, though. My father agreed to do so in that other world, but I'm not so sure now, given his current condition. Hmm, so that too will be on hold until the change of heart. Well, sounds to me like we're totally in the clear. Yes, and it's all thanks to you guys. Everything should work out well if Okumura has a change of heart. Assuming it happens like it always does, we should be seeing some results soon. Sorry for messaging you all this early in the morning. It seems my father will be holding an urgent press conference. I guess Okumura finally had his change of heart. That has to at least lift some of the burden on Haru's shoulders. For real? Congrats! When is that going to be? 8 p.m. tonight. I wonder if he'll talk about the mental shutdowns. Where would we watch it? Where should we watch it? Why don't we get together beforehand? Sounds good. I don't really have a reason for meeting up, but it still might prove beneficial. Anyway, how does the Shujin Academy rooftop sound? I actually happen to have some business up there. Sounds good to me. It's been ages since I was last there. Wait, the school? Futaba, make sure you come in through the front entrance. See you all there at school. Hmm? Wait, where's Yusuke? If he's still asleep at this point, he's definitely going to be late for school. All right, that's it for today. It's finally lunchtime. Man, I'm really in the mood for some bread today. Hey, can I speak with you for a moment? So about Dr. Maruki's counseling, you've already gone to see him, right? I have. I see. That's good, then. I'm sure you're aware, but Dr. Maruki's term here will be ending pretty soon. The higher-ups told me to make sure you've received adequate counseling. Be sure to visit him so you don't bring any unwanted attention to yourself, okay? Counseling, eh? But anyway, let's go get lunch. Bring on the bread! Bread! Yes, of course! Uh Hi, so nice to see you. I like bread. Have you bread? I've been doing quite well. Are you also about to eat lunch, Senpai? If it's all right with you, would you mind eating together? Sure. Ah, how nice to see you two together. Oh, would you like to join us for lunch, Dr. Maruki? We were just discussing eating together. Are you sure? Well, Maybe I will tag along then. Um, is that your lunch, Yoshizawa-san? She's a growing lady. That doesn't really... I have to eat this much to stay active. I always burn through everything I eat. From my point of view, it's your two lunches that are the issue here. If you're going to strengthen your body, you have to eat right. You should really work on your diets. <laughs> Touche. And you're right, yours does look nutritious. You know, you seem to be giving off a different vibe lately. Yes, I was able to put my problems in the past and move on. Ah, so that's what it is. You don't seem to be overexerting yourself either. I'm sorry I would worried you. Oh, not at all. It's wonderful to hear how you've been. I must admit, I'm a bit surprised. If you don't mind my asking, was there some kind of reason for this breakthrough? Well, it's all thanks to him and his acquaintances. I suppose you could say they gave me a reason to rethink things, or more like a reason to stand up to my problems. Isn't that right, Senpai? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Stand up to your problems, eh? You've grown to be very strong, Yoshizawa-san. Mm-hmm. 
I'm totally over it now. Sorry for talking so much. Why don't we focus on our lunches? Thanks for the food! Ah, oh, I forgot. I have P.E. next. I should get going. Please excuse me. Yoshizawa-san really does seem to have found her footing. She seemed absolutely tormented about her situation just the other day. I have to say, this drastic change has really knocked me for a loop. Perhaps the Phantom Thieves changed her heart? Yeah, anything's possible. <laughs> I was just joking. Looks like time's up. You should head back to class as well. See you around. Hmm. You want to meet up on the rooftop after school, yeah? Rooftop? What is that? Oh yeah, you weren't there! Can you come to our school rooftop after your classes today? I don't quite understand what is going on, but sure. Is Haru at school? I'm heading over now. Things were a little hectic this morning. I'll be there before classes end for the day. That reminds me, your flower bed is on the rooftop. Flower bed? That's right. The season is good, so I'm thinking of transplanting them sometime soon. The flowers are an excellent topic. I will gladly assist you. We'll help too! Really? Thanks. Alright, I'll, I'll see you all right after school. So you're the one who grew these, senpai. You can just call me Haru. The seasons are changing soon, so I thought it'd be nice for the plants to change as well. This time, it's a Yusuke Kitagawa production. All I did was add some... how do I put it? Aesthetic simplicity by balancing the color placement. Furthermore, Haru chose the flowers herself. It will surely be a great bed no matter the arrangement. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Why don't we plant you, Mona? Weren't you a shut-in until just recently? You'd better photosynthesize while you're here. Well, let's get started. Perhaps the snapdragon should go two more millimeters to the left. That's not gonna make a difference! Hey, you know how we're thinking of the school festival as our celebration party? Anyone else think we should have a real celebration on top of that? I must agree. It would be not only a celebration, but a welcoming as well. I'd like to do something among ourselves. Let's do it then! A joint party to celebrate and to welcome Haru! Oh, you don't have to do that. The school festival is more than enough. How is everyone else supposed to get excited if the star of the party's not into it? Well then, how about a night party at Destinyland? By Destiny Land, do you mean that Kingdom of Dreams? It would be a bit late, but there are some plans that allow us to rent out the park for the night. The entire park? You're talking about THE Destiny Land, right? Didn't you say you'd like to do something amongst ourselves? I did, but... Hold on, I'll go check. She really thinks like a celebrity. What the heck's she gonna check? It looks like it will work! We're really gonna have it at Destinyland? Not like one of the restaurants, but the entire park? Even just for one night, the price is insane! Oh, that won't be a problem. We had originally booked it for a company party, then had to call it off because of the scandal. We'd barely get anything back if we canceled the reservation, so why not take advantage of it? Wouldn't that be oddly conspicuous, though? It's still officially under the company's name. We needn't worry. In that case, let's do this. We'll just celebrate twice as hard today. I'm sorry for disrupting everyone. You did come to help me after all. Well, let's get back to it. So uh, seriously, how much does it cost? For real? Seems like we're having our celebration at this little land tonight. That was 
was delicious. The food was arranged on my plate as though it were paint on a canvas. The staff brought out this table and food just for us, huh? I thought if we were going to dine together, it would be better to do it somewhere with the view. The VIP life is incredible! Not that I'd expect anything else from a private rental. There really is no one else here. We are the rulers of the Kingdom of Dreams! Is this lighting just for our sake as well? That's right. It's beautiful. It's not as beautiful as you. That's the kind of stuff couples say, right? <laughs> Almost anyone would fall for that line in front of a site like this. Lady On, this view is not as beautiful as... Come on, you guys are getting way too excited about this stuff. Uh, you say that like you're not tapping into your inner child too, Ryuji. This is just because Futaba kept nagging me to put him on. I did not. You said something like that. Ryuji, you're the adult. Well, yeah, but... Whoa, look at you being all obedient. Is the Destiny Land charm rubbing off on you? <laughs> My, this is so heartwarming. Is it? Honestly, I would have liked to see the parade as well. But given how sudden the request was, they couldn't get enough staff together to do it. Perhaps that will have to wait until next time. Either way, this party's totally the best one so far. It's freaking amazing! I'm glad to see you're enjoying it. Be careful, Haru. You've shown these guys what luxury means. This'll really raise the bar for our next celebration party. You're already talking about our next party? Don't you think that's somewhat premature? Still, how do I put this? I met Mona-chan. I got to know you all. Isn't everything going a little too perfectly? It's actually a bit frightening. You worry too much. I must just be overly cautious because of my circumstances up till recently. I'm sorry for bringing it up. Hey, isn't it almost time? You know, for the press conference? Oh, perfect timing! Father. Thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to gather here. Today, I'd like to elaborate upon the whole truth behind my company's labor situation. How my employees were forced to work under severe conditions. How lax we were with sanitation. And how my corporation acted as a whole to cover up every facet of this scandal. For all of this, I wholeheartedly apologize. So are you saying all of this was done under your orders? Yes, I am solely responsible. We heard that dozens of your employees were forced to resign due to mysterious illness. Furthermore, these happened to be officials who stood against your proposal for overseas expansion. The same thing also happened to executives at competing companies who were looking to expand abroad. Is all of this true? Yes. Was it all coincidence? We'd like some answers. About that. I have a critical piece of information to announce here today. Here it comes. Okuma is going to say who's really behind the mental shutdowns. I... Okumura-san? Pickle, pickle. Huh? F Father? 
Why did he collapse? That didn't look right at all. <sighs> Don't tell me. Onachan, what's going on? No, that's impossible. What happened? I want to know that myself. We made sure we just took the treasure, too. I should call home. This... this isn't our fault, is it? It's been okay all four times so far, ever since Kamoshida. If we let the Shadow live, the real person won't undergo mental shutdown, right? That's how it should work. Yeah, it's gotta be. <sighs> What's wrong? Th this is... the same. I remember now. It's just like... what happened to my mom? So this is the moment when mental shutdown occurs. But why did they target Okumura-san? Damn it! What the hell's going on here? Um... I have to go. I'll talk to the staff before I leave. Feel free to take your time. Haru! This ain't our fault, right? I'd like to think so. Some welcoming party, huh? I'll get in contact with Haru later. But for today, I think we should all return home. It's been a while. What are you watching? That's... This is just a hypothesis. But perhaps Okumura was bitten by his lapdog. Are you implying that the Phantom Thieves triggered a sudden mental shutdown on Okumura? There might have been a falling out of sorts, so the Phantom Thieves abandoned a useless employer. And to cover their tracks, they dealt with Okumura. I hate to bring this up, but I'm actually here about that. Did you find any evidence? No. Actually, there's a chance that the party behind these aren't the Phantom Thieves, but someone else. How do you mean? You were suspecting the Phantom Thieves as well. It is still hypothetical at this point, but I don't want to rule it out. We're searching the Okumura residence tomorrow. Same with Shujin and its principal. We will find evidence on this, no matter what it takes. By the way, I wanted to ask you something. Yes? You haven't looked at my laptop or taken files from it without my permission, have you? That's quite out of the blue. There were traces that someone transferred data from it. It was only a small error pop-up, but I noticed it immediately after I had that argument with you last month. And that's why you suspect me? Oh, please, give me a break. Are you saying you didn't? As a detective myself, I honor the value of information, as well as the effort invested in it. I take pride in what I do. I thought you of all people would understand such values, sai son. I apologize. But then, who stole my data? <sighs> I let my guard down. They're mine. I'm the one who will catch them. So about Haru's dad, uh, the news said it was a cardiac arrest. There's a chance he'll s pull through, right? I hate to say this, but usually after such a report, the only thing that follows is a confirmation of death. No, Haru. Why is this happening? Can someone die simply from having a mental shutdown? I don't know. I suppose it's possible that the shock could kill a person. Haru did mention how her father wasn't in the best of health. But for him to j just up and die? That has got to be some kind of joke. Maurice responsible for his death? But I thought it was supposed to be fine as long as we didn't kill their shadow. Ain't that what you said, Morgana? It should have been okay. It should have been says it should have been okay. Yeah, there's no point in getting mad at Mona for this. I heard the same thing too, you know. In any case, let's compose ourselves for now. We need to act normally in public. But keep Haru in our minds. Damn it, this doesn't make any sense. 
Why he suffered a mental shutdown is one thing, but what are we supposed to do from here on out? First, I'd like to congratulate you for expelling the one proud of their greed. Or so I'd like to say, but something odd seems to have happened. What happened? Who knows? However, don't you sense it? The malicious will of another? It seems a contingency has occurred. At this rate, your rehabilitation cannot be completed. Though I doubt that will be the case. I truly look forward to seeing how you overcome this predicament. We shall meet again. Time's up, inmate. Hurry up and return to your world. Police have shown up at our school. The police? What for? Your sister hasn't told you about any of this. Nothing at all. Could this be related to Okumaro's death in some way? But there's no connection between our school and Okumaro Foods. Think they come? They came to take? Think they came to talk to Haru? She's absent today. But seriously, what are they here for? I can't even begin to fathom the reason. The reason. Anyhow, let's be particularly careful not to stand out. And head straight home once school ends. Understand that, everyone? <sighs> we haven't found anything useful as evidence. I see. <sighs> we were hoping to find something more than the calling card, too. We've confirmed the victim's connection to the Phantom Thieves, at least. Thank you for your cooperation. Speaking? Huh? They found a calling card in the principal's office, too. Yes! I'm sorry to ask again, but your father hadn't said anything about the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. Please contact me if something catches your attention. It doesn't matter how trivial it seems. You don't have to force yourself, though. Just anything that comes to mind. The principal? No one told me about that. So basically, your group didn't go after Okumura's life. And even the death of Shujin's principal, who we found a calling card for, was the work of another. <sighs> you don't sound like you're lying. If you wanted to deceive me, you could have easily woven up a much simpler lie than this metaverse. Moreover, your account coincides with my own investigation. Is that even possible if it were made up? And I hate to admit, but with my line of work, I know a false testimony when I hear one. Still, if you set your sights on Okumura based on my intel, it'd be before his name was even ranked. You could have ignored him and targeted some other famous person. Why would you go so far as to further investigate and pursue this criminal? My teammate was in danger. <laughs> Simple enough. There's still no proof that another suspect exists. That said, it's safe enough to say that you aren't the murdering type. But with the subsequent deaths of Okumura and Shujin's principal, the public's opinion changed. Pressed to prove your innocence, your next objective was... Hmm? What's the matter? <gasps> Is it a side effect? What in the world did the police inject into you? Hey, hey, can you hear me? hear me? You need to stay focused. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. If 
What you're saying is true. You must tell your side of the story to the end. We'll both be in trouble if your testimony becomes unreliable. <sighs> well then, let's move on. At last we arrive at your most recent crime. You know what I mean, don't you? This calling card was delivered to your latest target. The one you had decided would prove your innocence. It was addressed to Sae Nijima. Myself. Now, explain everything to me. Has anyone been able to contact Haru? I haven't. No luck here. Me either. She won't pick up. It doesn't look like she's seen any of our chats either. I'm worried about her. Oh, Reginald Kun? My apologies for messaging you so early in the morning. Things have calmed down a bit at home, so I thought there's something I need to tell you. What's the matter? Um, there's actually something that's caught my attention. I think I need to, to discuss it with everyone, though. We should meet at the hideout after school. It looks like Haru is managing. Somehow. Alright. Let's meet up with everyone after school. With this, preparations are finally in place. The public has praised them as allies of justice before they strike them back to the ground. Now then, she'll be next. Yes, I've already spoken to Human Resources about it. It will be a heavy responsibility, but I'm certain it'd be an honor for her. The culprits behind the mental shutdown cases she's been pursuing all this time. <laughs> Indeed. They'll become the criminals we've set them up to be. Just as you instructed. It's so damn loud. Hmm? Where's Haru? She's the one that called us, so she'll show up eventually. Well, even though things have calmed down, she must be occupied with what happened to her father. Wait, what? What's up? People are posting that we killed President Okumura! So it's begun already. What? Think about it. The CEO collapsed the way he did during an apology conference that our group caused. Still! They were raving about us so much, and now they just treat us like murderers? What a lightning-fast change of attitude. They don't know a damn thing about our situation. Calm down. Not everyone is necessarily saying that. But there's no way to vindicate ourselves. <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm late. I'm the one who asked you all to make time for me, too. My condolences. Must be rough. I'm okay now. Um, I called everyone together because there was something worrying me. Did you all target the principal? Huh? The principal? You mean ours? Yes. What makes you say that? Yesterday. A public prosecutor came to my home. Um... It was a woman named... Nijima-san. That's... I overheard her saying a calling card was found in the principal's office. Considering that this was right after what happened, it's got to be Shujin's. It's the first I've heard of it! Doesn't this all seem weird to you? It may just be my imagination, but I feel as if... Things are escalating far too quickly after President Okumura's incident. What do you mean? Perhaps... We may have been set up by the real culprit. For real? That could be. 
Then we need to catch them as soon as possible. Hold a moment. Can we assume we've been set up, though? We don't even know their objective. What else are we supposed to do, then? Let's all calm down for a moment. From what Haru said, even the police are suspecting that the Phantom Thieves are murderers. It wouldn't be wise to carelessly make a move at the moment. We need to act as normal students for now. In addition, we have midterms next week. Exams? At a time like this? <sighs> I envy you, Futaba. Futaba? Hmm? Got something on my mind. Gonna go home and look into it. I wonder what that could be. At any rate, we need to behave and not draw attention to ourselves. Understood? For real? This is ridiculous. Why are people doubting the fan thieves over what happened to President Okumura? They never do such a thing. Isn't that right? Absolutely. Yeah, I trust them. Anyway, it seems like everyone's forgotten all that they've done up to this point. They won't stop me though. I'll continue cheering them on. Make sure you tell them that. I'll see you later. Mishima is a bit narrow-sighted, but he's a good person deep down. We can't betray him. Sorry for worrying all of you. It won't, I won't be able to respond for a little while longer. You don't need to mind us. More importantly, are you doing alright? I'm okay. I'm more worried about the people at the company, to be honest. It seems everyone's having difficulty with not only clients, but the press as well. They're even handling the preparations for my father's funeral. I just feel so guilty that I'm unable to help out at all you shouldn't everyone understands this is a trying time for you and we're here if anything happens i know i'll get in touch once things settle down we'll be waiting thanks talk to you later bless that girl worrying about others even at a time like this Anyone have any ideas? Of course not. If I were to guess, I would say the culprit behind the mental shutdowns. Wait, how do you e we even know we got set up to begin with? They found a calling card in Principal Kabayakawa's office. Someone else had to have planted that, obviously. In the worst case scenario, it's possible they know our identities. This is bad, guys. Yes, our state of affairs is looking quite bleak prove our innocence. How are we gonna do that, though? Looks like our only choice now is to find the true culprit. Although, we don't have any leads. Damn it, that, why is this gotta happen to us? Yusuke's painting won the competition. I still have much to learn, but I finally painted something that I can be satisfied with. Yes, this is the true heart of humanity. The title is Desire and Hope. What do you think? Turned out well. well. I added aspects that were previously lacking. This light is all of you. The title lists hope, but in my mind, it's a much more concrete thing. I can't believe I didn't realize that until now. Hmm. You. It's a good painting. Huh? It's not trying to be eccentric for the sake of being eccentric. Like the last time. To think the same painting can change this much. So this is the answer you've come up with. It is. Desire and hope, I see. Beauty and ugliness. Humans are creatures that possess both. It seems you understand that. What are you playing at? 
you provoked Yusuke on purpose? I apologize, although my intent was to encourage you. It was rather crude. Still, I believe that this ploy needed to be done in order to ignite your competitive spirit. But why would you do that? What's your objective? I wanted to do something for you as another person who is free from Matarame's chains. That's all. Huh? Matarame held a grudge against me for supposedly stealing his customers from him. To start, I couldn't get anyone to rent me space for exhibits. He caused me no end of hardship. So that's why. Yes, the heart of man is painted with desire, even if it's coated entirely in black at times. However, it seems you have the strength to not look away from it and chose to stand up against it. If only he had your strength. You mean Matarame? Matarame and I go back a long way. First as classmates, then as teachers at the same art school. He used to have a noble spirit. Said he wanted to aim for the top of the art world one day. Huh? But in the end, even the art world has its share of politics. Those who are cunning win. Our hearts were stained black in that manner. But the human heart is a strange thing. It can't completely separate black from white. I was shocked when I heard that he took you in. He never liked children, you see. Oh? This happened just before we cut all ties from each other. But I got a call from him. He was panicking that nearby clinics were closed and that his kid had a fever. Sensei. This was another aspect of him. Yeah. I don't want any more losers like me or misguided winners like him being born from this world. That's why I started this foundation. So how about it? Would you like our support? <laughs> Without the overbearing marketing production, of course. It's a truly kind offer. Thank you for your generosity. However, I must respectfully decline. Huh. What makes you say that? I am not Madarame. I won't be stained by desire. After all, I can see hope. If I am lost, they will extend their hands. If I am wrong, they will chastise me. As long as I have my rays of hope to guide me, I will be fine. Ha! <laughs> Madarame really did have a good eye. <laughs> what a strange man. You're a stranger, Yusuke. For declining his offer? It is a tad wasteful of me to decline. No, just in general. Still, I believe it's for the best. I feel contradictory, but that's the human heart, correct? <sighs> Interesting. That's exactly what I should be painting. It must have been troublesome dealing with me, but for some reason, I knew that you wouldn't abandon me until everything was said and done. Thank you, my friend. Awaken to a new power. All right. Now that I'm out of my slump, I need to make up for the time I wasn't able to paint. I reiterate my promise to you. I'll extend my assistance to you, should you ever stumble. Now then, shall we go? In order for me to learn more about the heart, we need to work hard on our thief business. Hmm? Futaba? What's wrong? It's not like you to come here this late. Hmm. <laughs> Look, Sojiro. Uncle's bank info. Transaction history? Credit details? I've got tons of dirt on him. 
How'd you get your hands on this stuff? Hacking, of course. The uncle's in loads of debt. He'll never win a suit against us now that we have all this data. <clears throat> this is a criminal offense, you idiot! There's no way we'd be able to use the stuff in court. But... Jeez. I've known all along how badly in debt he is. He's not gonna try and take custody back, so don't go doing stupid crap like this, okay? But Sojiro, I, I only did it because of all that stuff he said to you. About that, I've been thinking. When push comes to shove, I wasn't there to help you. So, you know, maybe there's somewhere better for you out there. Somewhere better? Am I not supposed to be here? Am I just in the way? <sighs> oh, that's not... You don't want me either, Sojiro? That's not what I meant. I just think it might be better for your own sake. <sighs> Fine. I still have Reginald and Mona and all the others. You can just stay here and play with your stupid coffee beans. She likes you guys way more than she likes me. Makes sense though. You're the ones who saved her after all. Where did I go wrong? I really did try to care Fufutaba. Look where they got me now. I told myself she was the reason I kept making Wakaba's curry here. But deep down, I think that was just an excuse to stay distant. At the end of the day, the coffee and the curry people love so much are both just... excuses. You might be right. Yeah, I mean... I spent more time in this cafe than I ever tr did trying to talk to Futaba. I'm gonna go out for a smoke. Try to cool off a bit. Sorry to lay this on you, but, uh, can you go after Vutaba for me? Reginald. Do you want to talk? Yeah, thanks. You know, Mom used to talk about Sojiro tons when I was little. How good he was at making curry, how interesting he was to talk to. I remember everything. I even remember how she smiled when she talked about him. Mom really liked Sojiro. I said some real mean stuff tonight. It's not his fault Mom's incident happened. It's not his fault I shut myself away from the world. And because of me, Sojiro lost a crap ton of money. I just thought I'd be able to stay here with him if my hacking worked. Let's talk to him. Yeah, you're right. Futaba? Um, can I come in? Mm-hmm. Sojiro, I... Look, I'm, I'm sorry about what I said just now. And well, if it's okay with you, I want you to stay here. Forever. Forever? I know it might be more fun living with people your age, like Reginald, but I'll do my damnedest to see things from your perspective. So, will you stay with me? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Was that supposed to be some kind of proposal? <laughs> hey, quit your laughing. You're as exhausting as ever. Hey, Sojiro. I know I've caused a lot of trouble, but I really do want to be here. So let's keep living together. Futaba? Sorry for not saying that sooner. Oh, and uh, thanks for taking in someone as horrible as me. Are you sure I'm good enough? I wouldn't want anyone else! 
no hesitation. Don't come complaining to me if you regret it. Actually, I'm... I'm not gonna let you regret it. If you ever need help, just tell me. I might not be graceful, but I'll be there to protect you. And you can stay with me for as long as you'd like. Forever, if you want. Mm-hmm. I will. Forever. <laughs> I can't wait to keep sort of living with you too, Reginald. Ah! It's almost time for the live stream! The director is gonna be on this week. I'm out of here. Bye! I was such a fool. My whole life I've taken the easy way out to avoid these kinds of conflicts. I didn't stand up for Wakabo when I knew something was off, and I didn't stand up for you either. Instead, I went on and on about how you can't fight back against the laws of our society. How you should just accept the hand you're dealt in life. But those were mere excuses I made to keep myself in line. They gave me the easy way out I wanted so badly. Maybe instead of all that coffee crap, I could have I should have been teaching you not to make the same mistakes I did. There I go ranting again. But I feel like I managed to put a lot behind me today. Thanks. Thanks for making me realize that's what's really important in life. I'm going home. Alright, I better head home too. Don't stay up too late, okay? I don't want you oversleeping. You got to talk? I wanted- I talked to Futaba again after that. Don't know how it took me so long when we've been so close, but I finally had an honest conversation with her. How do I say this? It feels like we're a real family now, not just pretending to be one. And that's only because you helped us connect, so thanks for that. Feel like a real dad now? A real dad, huh? <laughs> Sounds corny as hell, but I can't deny it. <laughs> what am I doing? Calling some guy up and rambling about my feelings. <laughs> uh, but I guess you're not exactly an ordinary guy yourself. Alright, I'm hanging up while I'm st I've still got my dignity. See you tomorrow. Things are looking rough online. They're just calling us a bunch of murderers. All the celebrities who supported us are being criticized now too. It's all gone up in flames. People are posting about this stuff everywhere. I highly doubt that anyone who supported us did so honestly. There must have been many who simply went with the winning side. I get mixed feelings about this when you put it that way. It does make me rethink a lot of things. That aside, we need to deal with our situation first. Our state of affairs continues to worsen. We can't just sit back and watch this happen. Still, we can't make a move when we don't have any leads. What are we supposed to do then? Right around when right around when your exams end will be the perfect timing. Uh for what? Don't worry about it. Anyway, just wait and see what happens. For the time being, let's discuss things after our exams end. Ugh, there's no way I can focus on exams like this. Can you ever? Hey, are you listening? I swear to God, if I don't miss, thank you. Jesus. No way. Oh, <laughs> hey. I had to, do, but I got to do it at least once. You ready? The games are on me today. Just be sure to keep up. 
If you insist. Don't worry, I have a lot of money on me today. Now let's get to it. Get into your stance. Come on, man. No, no, aim. too slow. Hey. Give him his money back. Hmm. But just ignore them. Oda. You took his lunch money, didn't you? He forced you into a battle, right? Yeah. When I lost, he told me I owed him money. Who do you think you are? The king. Huh? Wrong. I didn't take it. I earned it. That money is for my war fund. To help me get stronger. What the hell does that mean? You're crazy. Just like your mom. I heard your mom was being weird at a restaurant the other day, too. A waiter caught her leaving without paying. She said that she just forgot. She even snapped at the manager and told him his employees need to be better trained. Shut up! My mom says that your mom is a bully. And you're just like her. You bastard! Shut up, shut up, shut up! I'm the strongest, the best, the king! If you want your money back, you'll have to beat me. It's not making any sense. Somehow, someway, you're gonna pay us back. The only thing you're good at is playing games. <sighs> huh? You're just a little bad guy in a movie. I hope the Phantom Thieves get you. No way. Bad guy? Me? Really? Even though I'm strong? I'm not a bad guy, am I? You should return the money. But I won. I'm the stronger one. How am I the bad guy? I guess I, I already knew that. I felt bad even when I was winning. I won't do it again. I don't want to be a bad guy. I believe in you. Yeah. Thanks. Hey. Um, do you hate me now? I'm worried about you. No way. Sorry. I promised I won't do that again. So please don't hate me. Phantom Thieves are strong because they defeat strong enemies, right? Beating up and on weak opponents? That's bullying. That's what bad guys do. I was wrong. Thanks, Crime Boy Son. I wouldn't have realized this on my own. what I did. Bye. I'm so glad you picked up. Hey, crime boy son. Where did I go wrong? I just wanted to be strong like the fan of these, but somehow I turned into a bad guy without even noticing. The more I thought about everything, the more scared I thought. The more scared I got. Crime Boy Son, are you sure you aren't gonna hate me? Shit. Of course not, I won't. Really? Pinky promise? Thank you. I won't make the same mistake ever again. Oof, I feel a little better after talking to you. Thanks, Crime Boy Son. I don't know what I'd do without you. Okay. Let me hang up now. See you at the arcade. Actually... Listen up, kid. I figured out Tsuda's weakness. While you and Karu were over at that diner, I was out getting info from a reliable source of mine. Turns out, I guessed right. 
Sudo was the one on the other end of that Hong Kong mafia deal. Apparently, he paid them off for a huge arsenal of guns. <laughs> this is where things start getting interesting, though. If he was smuggling all that shit in, why would he come to me asking for modified guns? I mean, don't something about that seem off to you? No, absolutely. <laughs> right? That piece of shit's trying to l lord his position over me, but he ain't got shit now. What I'm really saying here is, I don't think those Hong Kong guys ever delivered on their end of the deal. They probably just took his money and flat out st st stiffed him on the guns. Masa told me something real weird back when you and Karu were over at the diner though. Hmm. Apparently, the clan's been treating that Hong Kong transaction like some kind of massive business success. That means Suda's been trying to... Uh, that means Suda's been lying to them this whole time. And now, he's trying to use me to cover up his mistakes. <laughs> he's clever. <laughs> yup, everyone's always known he's one sneaky son of a bitch. <sighs> don't matter how, don't matter now though. Everything's gonna change once I tell the clan what's up. Suda's not gonna be able to keep intimidating me every, anymore. And I'll make sure Karu won't get labeled like I was. He'll be a regular, respectable adult. Something I could have never been even dreamed of. I'm gonna have to talk to Suda myself first though. Gotta follow the Yakuza code. Yo. Hey, I got a favor to ask you. If anything happens to me, take care of Karu, okay? Okay? Are you going alone? Probably. I know he'd be able to get rid of me no matter what. No problem without a witness there. But I've gotta put an end to this. Besides, nobody would wanna. Wait a sec. I've got you. That's right. I want you to come talk to Suda with me. He's not gonna dare lay a finger on a civilian kid. It caused way too many complications for him. If you come as my witness, things will be miles safer. Good. Alright then. It's settled. Well, and let me think of a reward. Gotta thank you for the info and for being my witness. <laughs> How about I work even harder on that special menu? That should be good for you, yeah? All right. Well, I'll lead you up when it's time. Let's do this, kid. Later. Yo, about that witness talk earlier. Remember, it's too late to get cold feet now. You can't bail on me. But I'm obviously going to look out for you. If it comes down to it, I'll personally take responsibility for protecting you. But considering who we're dealing with, we can't afford to make the any chances. Bring it on. <laughs> you really do have guts. But guts alone isn't enough to get by in this world. Remember, nothing's that simple. Look, I know I shouldn't be getting a minor dragged into this shit, but you're the only one I can rely on. When everything's prepped and ready, I'll give you a call. Later. Can I bother you for a moment? Now that the funeral is over, it feels like a small burden has been lifted from my shoulders. Are you alright? I am. I actually feel bad having everyone worry about me. How about you? Are you doing okay? Managing. You sure are strong. I'll come back, don't worry. I think I'll be able to rejoin everyone around when exams end. Um. We'll see you. Haru, she's the one who should be in pain right now. 
Yet she's still trying to cheer us up. Um... This is one of the promised lists I have with my mom. See, everything on here is marked off as being done. But that's kind of wrong. There was one promise I lied about doing. One promise I never actually finished. It was get along with Kana-chan. This is all started back... This all started back when I was in elementary school. I used to get bullied pretty hard for how weird I was. The other kids always accused me of cheating because I'd get perfect scores on my tests. Then one time I turned in a test with nothing written down instead, but the school ended up yelling at my mom. My life at school was horrible. Sometimes during recess, I'd lock myself in the bathroom and cry. I didn't want a single friend. I was always alone. I didn't have a single friend. I was always alone. But then a girl named Kana transferred to my school. She was absent a lot at first, then when she was there, the other kids bullied her like they did to me. But one day, she said something to me. Good morning. She started saying it every day from then on. That must have been a shock. Totally. I mean, literally nobody wanted to talk to me back then. To be honest, I completely ignored her the first few times. I thought the boys had put her up to it. But without fail, she'd come over to me and say good morning. Then, eventually, I decided to say it back. It felt like my heart was going to shatter into a million pieces. <laughs> but apparently, she'd been saying it to me that whole time because she thought we could be friends. She was the first person who didn't mind how weird I was. I was so happy about making a friend that I told my mom. That's when she added something to the promise list. Get along with Kana-chan. But, uh, I couldn't do it. One particularly windy morning, Kana-chan dropped her diary and the pages flew everywhere. I didn't really mean to look, but I ended up seeing everything she had written down. And once I see something, I can't forget it. It was all so horrible. She wrote about how her parents hit her, how they made her take pictures in weird clothes. Kana-chan's diary was full of stories like that. Then, when I asked her about it, she got really defensive. I felt terrible, but she just kept yelling at me for at me for reading it. You didn't know any better. <laughs> yeah, but I couldn't really tell her that. I just froze up. And then, I ran. I ran and ran. I wanted her to stop yelling. I wanted to go back to how things were before. Kana-chan ended up moving away pretty soon after that. I haven't talked to her since. So, I lied to my mom. Even after Kana-chan left, I would tell her we were best friends. After, every month, she'd write that promise on my list, and every month, I'd lie about it. I... I, I wish I could apologize to Kana-chan somehow really want to say I'm sorry. Sorry for not helping her, though she was going through even worse stuff than I was. Sorry for reading her diary. Sorry for running away. I hate being such a coward, but I think I might be able to face my fears now that I'm a promise-settling phantom thief. Get along with Kana-chan. I'm gonna do it for real this time. I didn't mean to tell you all that. <laughs> Not even Sojuro knows. This is so embarrassing. You have to help me now. Got it? Okay, understand. This is another part of our deal. All right. All right. Well, I'm gonna get on that right now. Time to. Go look up Kana-chan's deets! Oh, and 
Sorry I wasn't too hospitable today. <laughs> That'll have to wait for next time. Okay. Hello? It's me. Something's not right, Reginald. When I try looking up Kanachan's contact info, my fingers suddenly start trembling. I know I promised myself that I'd do this, but when I remember how angry Kanachan got, I get so scared. Are you running away again? What am I doing? Freaking out at the most important moment? I can't do this, then what was my training for? I don't want to run away anymore. I won't give up on Kanachan. Thanks, Reginald. Talking to you about this helped me calm down. I'm going to be a, to do a little more research on Kanachan. Oh, and please don't tell anyone else about what we discussed today. Not even Sojuro, okay? Bye. Ah, you're back. This isn't much of an update, but I think I'm going to go back to school, starting tomorrow. I'm sorry for worrying you all until now. Are you okay, though? Be sure not to push yourself too hard in this time for, of grief. No, I actually need to push myself. My, my mind always wanders if I have nothing to do. Yeah, I totally get you. Besides, there's nothing I can do while I'm at home. Well, uh, I don't know how to put it, but try not to think about this too much. We're on your side, Haru. Yeah, we can- you can come to us for anything. Um, to be completely honest, when I ended up alone, I did doubt you all a tiny bit. But it's so horrible for me to doubt you. I mean, I'm the only one who asked you all to do this. Your father just passed away, Haru. It's natural to feel a flood of emotion at such events. Yeah, it's really hard when you lose someone like that. But I'm okay now. You've all helped me out so much. Right back at ya! Thank you. Those words are truly reassuring. Well then, I'll see you all at school. Haru... I'm not surprised she seems down. You should keep her in your thoughts. Still, despite how she looks, Haru has quite the backbone. I'm sure she'll be okay. So, you know everything. Wait, that's the brat from your shop, isn't it? I should have known he was working for you. Hey. He's here as my witness today. Now listen, I'd be glad to keep my mouth shut about your failed deal if you stay away from my family. That includes me, Karu, and this kid here. Huh, so you're still sticking to the code, even in retirement. Yeah. Rules ain't meant to be broken. <laughs> you're as sharp as ever, Mune. Glad to see you haven't lost your touch in your absence. I bet we never would have gotten duped by those Hong Kong motherfuckers if I still had you as my right hand man. Instead, I'm stuck dealing with the mess that idiot Masa made for me. Hey kid, sorry for getting a respectable team like yourself wrapped up in our bullshit feud. I mean, I hope dealing with all this Yakuza business hasn't been too much trouble. Nah, yeah, I did it all for EY. <laughs> Thanks, kid. Yo. suda -san. I wanna- I gotta be honest with you. This whole thing has been a real goddamn pain in the ass. But it's over. You're finished. I don't understand you. I don't think you understand, Mune. Whoa. What? You're the one who gets to make the decisions around here. You're not the one who gets to make the decisions around here. <laughs> the hell are you doing? I'm done playing nice with you. You're gonna make me what I need. One, you're gonna make me what I need, one way or another, EY. If you, and if you can't do it fast, both your son and this little witness of yours are gonna pay for it. What'd you say? Christ, you suda! 
You're not some random thug off the street. You're supposed to be better than this. Times have changed, Mune. You're... You're hung up on bullshit like pride and duty. But you know what? Nobody gives a fuck about your goddamn code of honor anymore. <clears throat> Bastard. Now listen to me, you little piece of shit. You're, gonna, you're going to make me those guns. And you're going to do it fast. Don't make me tell you again. Shit. Such a freaking idiot. That guy ain't the suit I know. Based on what just happened here, I'm done for the I'm done for the second I give him the guns he's looking for. God damn it. Look, kid. You should probably go. I don't got any more tasks for you. Just forget all of this. Okay, I will. Yeah. Good. This ain't nothing a kid like you can't handle. I I'm gonna make those guns for him. I gotta do what I can what I can to protect Karu. If it means keep helping out that psychopath, so be it. Suda, when did he turn into such a heartless bastard? What's his full name? Huh? huh? Why do you... Actually, it's probably best that you know. Sakamitsu Suda. He was famous around here for being an incredible martial artist back in the day. If you see him around town, run. Go to the police if you have to. This They'll keep you safe as so long as you tell them who's after you. Anyways, we're done here. Thanks for all you've been giving me. Later. And take care of yourself, kid. <sighs> Phantom Thieves have gone off the deep end, don't you think? I thought they were gonna change that CEO's heart, but they ended up killing him instead. Haven't people been saying they killed Principal Kobayakawa too? I thought they were bad, but I never expected they'd turn out to be murderers. Oh man, does this mean anyone who gets targeted is screwed? Quiet down. I'll now be handing out your exam booklets. You're still rooting for the Phantom Thieves? You know they're murderers, right? That doesn't mean that criminals should be left to do whatever they want. Still, couldn't they have at least left the principal to the police? And I mean, did you see that press conference? No way Allies of Justice would do that. I wonder if Akechi-kun has been right all along. He's so admirable sticking to his guns even though so many people were against him? That's enough. If you don't quiet down, I'll have to ask you to leave. The Phantom Thieves have got to be students here, right? I mean, they killed our principal. Isn't this insane? There are murderers among us. Almost. Now that you mention it, there was a guy in Shibuya who told me he's a Phantom Thief the other day. For real? You gotta report that. Oh crap. You think so? I snapped a pic, so I should probably put it online just in case. I hope the cops catch him. The police are here again? Yeah, seems like it's for real this time. Apparently one of our students is a phantom thief. Seriously? I read the same thing online. Apparently public security is already on the move. It's me. There's something I want to talk to everyone about. I'll be at the hideout. I mean, our place. It's open. Um... I... Welcome. Ah, you're a third-year Okumura-san, right? 
so, so good to see you. Please, have a sleep. Uh, are you okay? Huh? Uh, yeah, yes! I'm sorry. I did come here because I wanted to, but I'm not exactly adept at saying what's on my mind. Oh, that's perfectly fine. I'm not all that great at chatting with people either. Excuse me? Oh. <laughs> oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. How about some snacks? No need to be modest here. You have my thanks. I'm alright though. Um. Um. I must be pretty weird, right? I came here for counseling, but I can't seem to say anything. Well. Not weird in the least. Just take your time. We'll go at whatever pace you need. And if you still don't feel comfortable at the end of your time, well, just have some tea and head on home for the day. I do enjoy tea time. Perhaps I'll feel more relaxed if I think all of this in that way. Quite. Absolutely. Nobody's going to de-stress if they come in here all worked up like, I have to talk right now! Thinking of this as just sneaking away to relax with some tea would probably help you feel more open. Relaxing with some tea. I do that quite often, but on my own. Do you find that more relaxing? Yes. The people closest to me in my life, they don't really feel like people I could sit and enjoy some tea with. Even my family was always focused solely on work. I see. So, was mealtime essentially the same setup as tea time? Yes. Meals w where we actually ate together were almost always uptight dinners at work-related events. I see. I've never been to upscaled social events, so I'm not sure if I should ask this, but, well, didn't you ever feel lonely? I... Lonely? Yes, I think so. If I were given the chance, I would have only wanted to spend more time with my family. Why don't we call it a day now? Feel free to stop by again. Anytime you like. Um... Yes, I, I do apologize. It seems I extended this tea time much longer than I had it intended. <laughs> no problem at all. If anything, I'm happy to hear it. I'll make sure to pick up snacks that pair well with tea. I received word from Futaba-chan about our upcoming meeting. There's still some time until we meet, though, so... I'm going to go take care of my, my flowers first. See you later. I suppose plants do need watering after all. Oh, I know. You should go help Haru. I'll let the others know. <sighs> How troubling. What's wrong? Oh, uh, have you come up here to assist me? You, um... Heard that, didn't you? I'm not worried about the garden, in case you were wondering. It's just... So much has happened to me lately. Any way I can help? <sighs> well, perhaps I could share this with you. I mean, it would be nice to have someone who is aware of my current situation in life. The source of my worries is my father's company. Dealing with the aftermath has been difficult. Given how unexpected the accident was, my father didn't have a will. All of his stocks transferred to me. Which means suddenly, I'm the biggest shareholder in a company of over 1,000 employees. But I don't know the first thing about business direction or fund management. That sounds tough. It is. I may be the president's daughter, 
But I never expected I would end up involved with company matters. Because of that, lately I've been meeting with all the various officers and lawyers my father employed. They've been giving me advice on all the things I'm not entirely sure about. Assets? Stocks? It's clear some people only want to get on my good side, though. I don't know who I can trust. They try to sound comforting by saying things like, don't worry, or leave it to me. But it feels like they're really only being nice so they can get their hands on my bank account. I... I never realized I could be this distrustful of other people. Uh, I'm sorry for ranting on about this matter. I feel as though doing so has helped me calm down a bit, though. The only people I've consulted up to this point have been employees. But I think what I really needed was someone closer to my own age. Closer to my own viewpoint. Hmm. Um, if it isn't too much trouble, could we speak about this again some other time? In return, I'll... Hmm. What can I do to help you? I don't have any unique talents. How about this? You know, gardening. I'm actually quite skilled at it. A few years ago, I even managed to grow a tropical fruit on the balcony at my house. To be honest, this is what I do when I'm alone. To take my mind off of everything that's happened. <sighs> oh, that's right. I stored some vegetables in the refrigerator down in the home economics room. You still have some time, yes? Would you mind waiting here a moment? I grew these right here in these very planters, and harvested them myself not too long ago. There's not much consistency to their colors or shapes, but... I wanna try them. <laughs> you like vegetables? That's good to know. But to tell the truth, I have a favor to ask of you. I'd like to get Sakura-san's opinion on my vegetables. Do you think I could bring my next harvest over to your cafe? Huh. That's a great idea. Thank you. I'm sure Sakura-san will give me his honest opinion. I'll make sure this next harvest is particularly good. Well then, shall we head over to the hideout? Congrats on surviving midterms. <sighs> I think I'm screwed for real this time. I couldn't concentrate at all. Gathering everyone's opinions and immediately acting upon them. In order to make that natural course of action a reality, I will... <sighs> Again? It's so damn loud! More importantly, what's this you want to talk about? You said that something was on your mind before, but were you able to figure out what it was? The medjet that I banned wasn't the real one. Huh? Aren't you the real one, though? Oh, uh... The guy who called himself Medjet after me isn't the one from the other day. What do you mean? The code written by that guy the other day is different from any of the past Medjet. And that means... A code is like your fingerprints. No matter how you try to disguise it, your own quirks appear in it. The one from the other day was all cut and pasted with no consistency. No skill at all. But aren't there multiple people across the world that are part of Medjet? Couldn't it have been done by someone that joined recently? How do I put it? That code was so not done by anyone interested in cracking. At all. At the very least, there's no way it was an official Medjet member. So, someone used the Mejed name to provoke the Phantom Thieves? For what purpose? Could they have been doing it for fun? It was around the time our group started getting popular, so maybe they wanted in on the hype. Wait a moment. What if it's the other way around? Hmm? Perhaps they used the Mejed name to make the Phantom Thieves known. What?! That makes no sense! I actually thought the same as Makoto. Why is that? Know how I just said that code is like fingerprints? I found those same fingerprints somewhere completely different. Where's that? The Phantom Aficionado website. 
There were traces of it being illegally tampered with from the outside. For real? For summer vacation, the access counter was made to be much higher than the actual number. Same with the rankings. Particularly the time when President Okumura ranked first. So then, the one who provoked the group and the one who tampered with the site are the same person? I think I'm starting to see the big picture. Both Medjed's provocation and the tampering of the website brought attention to us as a result. On top of that, our reason for targeting Okumura was influenced by the public and the rankings. The perfect timing and the perfect target. If both of those had been set up... It would all make sense. So the culprit was planning to put the blame on us from the start? No way! This is all hypothetical. We lack any hard evidence. But if all your deductions happen to be correct, that would mean we've been playing right into their hand for the past two months or so. We gotta be overthinking things. I mean, we're talking both the rankings and Medjed. Everyone made a big deal about it. If this was all set up, then what kind of guy did we make an enemy of? There's no point in getting anxious over speculation. Regardless, we'll be falsely charged at this rate, and with murder. We must overcome this. But we don't even know who we're up against. Hey, you think we're falling into another trap, even at this very moment? Calm down. Yeah, this doesn't mean that we've lost yet. Even if this is the actions of a meticulous enemy, we'll just have to get back at them. We need to find clues, no matter what. Me? I was told you recommended this reassignment yourself, sir. Why would you choose someone as inexperienced as myself? When the case of the Shujin Principle was ruled a suicide, you thought to reopen it. And you proved its connection to the Phantom Thieves. This is based primarily on that achievement. I'm honored, sir. The Phantom Thieves issue is now a national crisis. Expectations are exceedingly high for us public prosecutors, as we are the executors of justice. Personnel and planning will be up to you on this case. You will also have the police under your command. I'd like you to oversee this operation. <sighs> You've yet to give an answer. Will you accept the task of eradicating the Phantom Thieves? I will give it everything I have. We'll have to prepare a higher position for you as well in the event that you succeed. I don't wish to apply extra pressure on you, but I assume your odds of success are high. Naturally, failure to accomplish this task is unacceptable. Do you understand? Of course. I will live up to your expectations no matter what it takes. That is all, then. I expect good results from you. I'm home. Hi, sis. Should I warm up dinner for you? No, it's okay. How about a bath? No need. I just came home to get a change of clothes. Are you going to stay at work then? I've been entrusted with a very important task. You look awful though. Aren't you tired? As an adult, there will be times when you will accept an assignment for which failure is not tolerated. It's all over for me if I can't win this. Still, if you were to collapse from exhaustion... This is my one chance to get a promotion. I heard detectives have been coming to your school. That must make it hard to focus on your studies. Don't worry, though. It will all be over soon. What do you mean? I'm going to catch the Phantom Thieves myself. Is that the important task you mentioned? It's none of your concern. Oh my god. Sis has her sights set on the Phantom Thieves, and on Shujin Academy in particular. <sighs> this is bad. I need to let everyone know.
things have become somewhat troublesome, everyone. Just try to stay calm. What's wrong? Sis told me she's been entrusted with an important task regarding the Phantom Thieves. That means, yes, the SIU must surely be on the move at this point. So what? Wait, weren't they already investigating us though? The police were doing so in secret. This operation is on a much different scale. Hold on a sec. What's this SIU thing anyways? The Special Investigations Unit. An elite team that deals with huge cases like government scandals. I have heard that name on the news. They make headlines often. The real insane part is they haven't lost a case against a suspect in like 50 years. If they come after you, you're screwed. You're, they're the best investigation force in Japan. Are we going to get arrested? Doesn't this countermeasure seem somewhat extreme? Right or wrong, I think we're just way too famous at this point. As this is a country governed by law, they can't afford to ignore us for any longer. We may be the fan thieves, but this is miserable. They probably have a pretty narrow suspect profile by now, too. Hey, don't scare us like that! It's okay, though. They don't have any evidence. Yes, I, I expect they're frantically searching for some as we speak. No way they're gonna find anything, though. It's only a matter of time. We have to worry. We have to hurry and do something about this. No, uh, everything's going to be fine. Unless they know about the metaverse, there's no way they'll get any info on us. They were there today too, right? Yeah. What do those damn cops think they are? They can't just stare us all down like that. Maybe the rumors are true. Maybe there's a phantom thief at our school. Apparently the police are going to be interrogating all the students here. Seriously? The police are at Sujin? They haven't come to my school. Seems they're calling students individually out of class to speak with them. Wait, does that mean we're gonna get called in too? Second years will start in the afternoon. Make sure you prepare yourselves mentally for this. They've gotta be looking for the culprit, right? Who knows? Be careful guys, we should probably try to not say much. They'll see through any lies you might try telling. I know. In any case, don't tell them anything unnecessary. Well then, next up is Takamaki-san and... You two will go together. Huh? Why together? Why? They'll probably have one of you wait outside. That's how they've been doing it so far. Uh, oh yeah, right. Those are the instructions the detectives gave us. Just don't say more than is necessary and try and get it over with quick. Take a seat. We're sorry to take your time. This will be over quick. Let's see. Ah yes, you're the one currently under probation. It says here you had a dispute with Mr. Kamishida. That happened. You're more hot-blooded than you look. You spend time with quite an interesting group. Yusuke Kitagawa and Haru Okumura? The more friends, the better, right? I'm sorry to have taken your time. You're free to go now. Oh, I almost forgot. There's just one more thing I have to ask you. Do you think the Phantom Thieves are associated with this school? I hope not. Don't worry. We're here to keep all of you safe, okay? Thank you for your time. Your responses will serve as great reference material. Takamaki-san is next. Could you ask her to come in? I 
got so nervous, I almost stuttered a few times. I thought I was used to police questioning by now, too. Seems we were all asked the same questions. That's how they get you. They do that on purpose, then wait for someone to slip up. I hope you didn't. It was probably fine. Well, I would have been done for if they saw how sweaty my hands were, though. To think my name would come up as well. Sounds like we can't take the police lightly, either. Hey, didn't you think that detective guy was scary? Yeah, I Especially real. those eyes. It was like they were smiling, but not. For real. I'm sorry for all of this. It's because of my sister. That's not true, Mako-chan. It's not as though I hadn't predicted this would happen. But now that it's become reality... I'm unsure of what to do. We need to make sure we don't draw suspicion, and work to clear our names. Right? Right. It ain't your fault, Makoto. I'm gonna try to see how far along this investigation really is. I'm worried about the police too, but as of now, anyone in this city could be a mole. They were so popular too. Haru, can I ask you to search your father's belongings for clues about a possible culprit? I know it may be tough on you. No, it's okay. Now isn't the time for me to look away. As for everyone else, you need to be cautious of how you spend your time at school. So, I've decided to have you three second years join me on the school festival executive committee. Why? It will allow us to gather without drawing suspicion. Plus, trying to blend in will only do the opposite. Ah, uh, fine. I agree. The more time I have to kill, the more time I'll spend worrying about all this stuff. No matter what happens, I don't want to regret my decisions. Don't jinx it! It would be no surprise if they came directly to our homes for questioning. They showed up at your school after all. I should remain cautious. For now, the best option is to stay on the defensive. But we won't make progress at this rate. Let's try and figure out who the real culprit is somehow, okay? Of course. <laughs> yes, I have another suggestion. Call for the arrest of the Phantom Thieves, then mobilize the police. The rest will go as you mentioned. <laughs> Still. I'm truly amazed at the atrocious methods you come up with. So what do we gotta do as the school festival's exec community? I'll need some help with the questionnaires. What questionnaires? The ones regarding who people want to see as the guests of honor. Oh right, that thing they do every year. You mean how th those lame guests come to do a panel, right? The festival's, do the festival's dates were changed because of the situation. We need to hurry and tally the results. Come to the student council room once classes are over. Ugh, oh, this is so damn boring. Don't be like that. It's so we can meet up without standing out. Let's do what we can at the moment. I'm making sure to work hard at home. But you do that all the time. I can look stuff up. So did you find anything, Haru? About that. No good, huh? I'm sorry. It'll rouse suspicion if I ask too many detailed questions. No worries. I'll manage on my end somehow. We're counting on you. I can't go, but message me if anything happens. I will leave this to you guys. My apologies, but I cannot be of much help in this situation. Damn it. We don't have time to be doing crap like this. You don't need to keep mentioning it. We're doing this to keep suspicions off of us, remember? Goro Akechi. This one too, Akechi. 
They're mostly the same over here as well. Everyone's so eloquent when they can be anonymous. It's like they never accepted us to begin with. It would be nice if you did some work too, Ryuji-kun. You came to help us count these, right? Come on, leader. Can you tell him too? Just relax, Ryuji. Aren't you taking this a little too lightly? Whoa, look here. This ain't good. Criminal profiling? The acts of thievery committed by the Phantom Thieves are mere fakes. And their true goal is murder? Every heart they changed before Okumura was just a warm-up? Uh, so now they're accusing us of being a bunch of killers. God, this is so effing stupid! Damn it! We have the results. First place is Goro Akechi. What? Akechi? What are you so surprised for? We've been mentioning him this whole time. Seriously? Not some singer or an idol? It's because of us that his popularity has skyrocketed. We're the ones counting the results. Can't we just make him up? I don't have to get him. People will figure that out. He won by a landslide. I knew people would vote for him, but this is way more votes than I was expecting. It would be best for us to avoid inviting such a clear danger upon ourselves. I'd like a little more time to think about who to ask. That reminds me. How was Futaba-chan doing? She seemed like she was looking into something on her own. Has she told you anything? Not a word. It's not that I don't trust her, but... Even one clue would work wonders for us. We should let her continue with her own investigation. I hope she finds something. Hey. In response to the police identifying the Phantom Thieves as primary suspects, Goro Akechi had this to say. Even though my opinion has been met with criticism, I've held fast that the Phantom Thieves are not just. However, I believe the recent series of suspicious deaths is unrelated to their actions. W what Did I hear you correctly? But Akechi-san, you were the first to caution everyone about the Phantom Thieves. Were you not? This doesn't change the fact that they are indeed a dangerous group. That said, I would like to express that immediately linking them to this case is far too hasty. There are still many questions to be answered here. It feels as though there is more to this. After this conference, Akechi-san announced he will be limiting his media appearances and... I wonder why the sudden change? I'm super stuck on my Akumara investigation. Seriously? Even you're having trouble with this shit? What should we do? Let's meet up and discuss our options as soon as possible. Tomorrow? The earlier the better, right? Though, I still haven't come up with anything myself. It said... It said two heads are better than one, so I can only imagine what eight heads can produce. That's a good way of thinking. It's totally an Onari idea. Okay, let's do everything we can right now. Even if it makes it means crossing some dangerous bridges. Considering how far we've come, we can't be particular about our methodology. What are you staring at your phone like that for? Oh, are you going through a breakup? Oh, pretty much, yeah. You're trying to show off. Don't get cocky, kid. By the way. You haven't been causing any trouble, have you? I heard the police showed up at your school. It's nothing on me, about me. As long as you're not getting involved. <sighs> well, fine. I'm so exhausted. Thanks to my quota and that shithead thief. But I have made so much progress. I did some research on the Phantom Thieves. I'm starting to get the impression they might actually be the real deal. No signs of an internal power struggle, no dirty money changing hands. It 
almost seems like all that, all this recent negative press was fabricated. There's no actual proof to support the claims. And I mean, you're still a fan, right? Honestly, the more I get to know about the Phantom Thieves, the better I understand them. I can relate to their sincerity. They remind me of how I used to be. I already know firsthand that fighting the evils of society is a never-ending thankless job, but I still do it nonetheless. I bet the Phantom Thieves share that same kind of passion. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear you talking about passion, Ichigo-chan. Maybe all this talk about the Phantom Thieves has influenced you, or maybe it's just that kid. Maybe. I mean, he is a pretty big fan of theirs, so... Yes, this is Oya. That's right. What? You found Kaio? Where is she? What do you mean you can't tell me? Why the hell not? Hey, what's going on? Wait! Kaio. What was that about? That was one of my journalist friends. He thinks he found Kaio. He followed up on a pretty far-fetched string of rumors for me, but now he's saying he doesn't want to get involved. Damn it! Why the hell won't he tell me what's going on? I can't just give up now. Uh, at least that's progress. I mean, we didn't even know Kaio-chan was still alive before now, so... Stop right there! Ugh. Huh? I knew it. You've been looking into Kaio's case behind my back. Well, not anymore. I've cut off all your resources. I suggest you stop drop this investigation if you don't if you don't want to face the consequences. Wait, you're the one who pressured my contact to keep quiet? I told you, this is where your wild goose chase ends. Oh, and I'll be doubling your quota again. No more of this personal investigation. Got it? Huh? What? Are you trying to kill me? Hey now, Mr. Chief, do you really d can you really do that? I don't think anyone asked for your opinion, bitch! Listen to me, Oya. Give it up. Unless you want to end up just like that stupid friend of yours. Don't tell about Kyle like that. Don't talk about Kyle like that. Stop messing don't around. Don't you dare. If you ever even think about talking shit on Kyle again, I will hesitate to beat the living crap out of you. Whoa, hold on. Take back everything you just said. Well, I'm gonna do even worse. It's too late now. The higher-ups have decided to put that incident to rest, and that's what we're doing. You understand? That spineless little bastard only cares for himself. Shit. This had to happen just as I got a new lead on Kaio. What should I do? Should I go knock him out? let him provoke you. Ugh. I know I'll, I'd be playing right into his hands if I let him get to me, but god damn it. No. I need to stay calm. I can't give him any more reason to fire me. Just stay calm and think. Ah, sucks. An even greater quota is going to be a problem, but I can't give up now. I promise I won't stop fighting. I'll prove it to you with another great article. Exclusive, the Phantom Thieves stealing hearts and changing lives. <sighs> Sorry, I really will try and calm down now. I don't think you will. All right. I'm still frustrated though. All that bullshit he said is really getting to me. I wish I was better at controlling my emotions like you are. You're charming as you are. Ugh. Huh? So always said anything uh, like sweet to me before. More importantly, Ichiko-chan, 
How are you gonna manage having your quota doubled? I'll just work twice as hard. I just... I should be fine as long as I keep getting good info from my favorite source here. Give me some news. Oh, that reminds me. Let me hear all about today's scoop. What's up, kid? Thanks for bringing in all that good info. You're really the only reason I'm still surviving through my crazy quota. And it honestly helped that you were there with me earlier. If you weren't there, I would've just gone full blast on the Chief, and that would've been it. When I finally got a lead on Kaio, I'll do whatever it takes to find her. That's the spirit. Right? I'm, I'm not gonna let this crap get me down. I'm made of tough stuff. Watch me, chief shithead. You're gonna be crying at my feet. Still, I do have my limits. I gotta do something about this insane quota. Well, I'll come up with something. You just focus on getting me new info, okay? Okay, see you soon. Night. Makoto, has Nijima-san told you anything about the investigation? Well, Sis actually stopped mentioning anything about work in front of me. It's possible I made some sort of mistake. Regardless, I thought over the matter of who we're going to invite for our school festival. I'm considering asking Akechi-kun. For real? Weren't you talking about how you didn't want to draw danger to us or whatever? I understand this is dangerous. But without a powerful source of intel, we won't be able to win against the police network. And I can no longer rely on my sister for information. Wait, is this because of Akechi-kun's police connections? You're going to use him as your powerful source of intel? Bold move. I'm surprised to hear that suggestion coming from you, Makoto. Did you see his press conference yesterday? One of his comments defending the Phantom Thieves stood out to me. There is more to this. I think he said that knowing for certain that the Phantom Thieves would be watching. Still, there will be so many other students at the school festival. What are the odds of success? It's a gamble, and the odds are less than favorable. But we can no longer afford to hesitate. What are your thoughts? Should we invite a Should be fine. Okay then. Is everyone else okay with that? I'm good. Whatever he says has got to be more reliable than what I've been able to come up with. It would be reassuring to gain him as an ally, rather than simply a source of information. Hold on, how are we even gonna get in touch with him? It's not like we got his contact info. Actually, I do. For real? Could you send that my way, please? I'll contact him right away. I gotta say, I'm really not big on this Akechi deal. Now's no time to be petty. Just think of him as a source of intel, nothing more. I have a response already. He says, let me think about it. Wait a sec, didn't he say he wasn't gonna do any more stuff for the media? That's likely why he's so hesitant. What are we gonna do if he turns us down? I'll keep trying. Maybe frustrating, but he's all we have at the moment. We need him to do it, no matter what. We're counting on you, Makoto. <sighs> hey, um... I've been thinking a little bit about... Akiyama-kun. Let's cancel their request. Huh? Well, actually... I was just gonna say the same thing. I mean, going after him wouldn't even help you guys get famous. It'd practically be pointless. Stop worrying about fame. Huh? What? How'd you know about that? Oh, oh. I get it. Of course. 
course the thief who steals hearts would see what's going on in the depths of my psyche. You know, I first started the fan site so I could spread your message of justice to the world. But before I knew it, the only reason I wanted to help you guys was so I could get famous myself. Though, maybe that's always been the real reason. <sighs> I don't know. I thought I was doing it out of respect for you guys. Yet, deep down, I think I really just wanted to show the world I'm more than some stupid zero. Look where that got me, though. I'm just a selfish loser clinging desperately to your popularity. I don't deserve to work alongside the Valiant Ph Phantom Thieves. Well, thanks for everything. Bye. Ow! Man, I totally ate dirt. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> can't even run away right. <sighs> Working alongside the Phantom Thieves has made me feel like I myself can change the world. But it's only ever been you guys. I'm still just as powerless as always. That's the truth. <laughs> I wonder if there's really any way a pathetic guy like me can help you. Sure there is. Hi, boy. Thank you. I'll just have to think of what that might be. Wait, that's it! The fan site! How could I have forgotten something as important as that? I don't want to be... I don't want it to be about public relations anymore, though. First and foremost, that site needs to be a safe haven for people in serious trouble. After all that that happened to me with Kamoshida, I know how hard it can be to speak out against injustice. So as long as there are voices crying out to the fan of these, I'm gonna help them be heard. Alright. At any rate, we should just forget about going after Akiyama-kun, okay? I'm still worried about some of the rumors I've heard about him, but I'll do some more research. By the way, he's not a, as bad a guy as he pretends to be. Apparently, he's super sweet to his girlfriend. <laughs> Can you imagine that? They've been talking about getting married ever since back in middle school. I'm honestly kind of jealous. Well, see you later. Huh. Who would have thunk? Oh, Crime Boy? That thing I mentioned about Akayama-kun turned out to be true. It wasn't just some rumor. I found a post on the fan site by a girl who I assume is Akayama-kun's girlfriend. It says she's worried about her because her boyfriend's been acting out with some sketchy guys. Hanging out with some sketchy guys. Acting strange, too. It seems like some- it, it seems like enough evidence to make him a target, but I'm not gonna look into this a little further, just to be safe. It's your time to shine. Yeah, leave it to me. We can't ignore any cry for help on that fan site. <laughs> Even if I didn't realize the fan site meant this much to me. Thanks, Crime Boy. I'm helping for helping me get here. Okay, let's keep up the good work. Bye. Have you been sleeping well? You look kind of tired. It might not be my place to ask, but are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. Yes. Alright then. Oh, that reminds me. The school festival is tomorrow, isn't it? I had no idea that the preparations would take so much work. I underestimated it. But working with everyone to put everything together feels great. I hope we all have a fun time tomorrow. Well, I'm going to be do I'm going to do some training today. So please excuse me.
Any word from Akechi? Nothing. But tomorrow is the start of the school festival. Will this be okay? If Akechi couldn't decline our offer, we won't have a guest. Huh? That's what you're worried about? I appreciate the concern, but it will be fine. We just need to get akechi to agree to this somehow. Yep! What's that bastard up to anyways? He hasn't done anything since he said he was gonna go into hiding. I'm not sure. I'll try explaining the circumstances surrounding the school festival to him again. Hopefully he can give me a response by the end of the day. I'll let you know if I make any progress on that front. Welcome home. Well, honey, I'm home. You're back awfully late. How has business been for you lately? <laughs> Take a look around. Is the Nijima lady doing well? Unfortunately, we haven't seen each other lately. We had a... Difference of opinion. What are your thoughts, Representative Shino? It doesn't surprise me that people say our country is lethargic. We've let these phantom thieves run amok. That man's voice. And because they've targeted only prominent figures, our government leaders have been hesitant to act. I apologize for any concern they may have caused and will henceforth search for an apt countermeasure. That politician's really honorable. I like how quick he says he's gonna do everything. This is an important undertaking, and one I intend to confront with every asset available to me. The selfish criminals enacting this social reform are in fact the ones most deserving of reformation. Answering to the interests of the people as hastily as possible is my natural duty as a politician. Man, this guy is admirable. Rampant political scandals. Thieves on the loose. As sad as it is, this is the state of our nation. We must resolve this problem. And I assure the people of this noble country that I will do just that. I done funkled. What are you standing there staring off into space for? You're creeping me out. It's nothing. I'm not worried or anything. You're just blocking the store entrance. Fair that enough. politician is honest and carries an overwhelming amount of charisma. It feels like a trustworthy leader for Japan has finally come forth. Don't you think, boss? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Criminals, hmm? Well, that must be how he sees it. However, that is ignorant of their true nature. Don't, don't like politicians, eh? Me too. It isn't about liking or disliking them. It's more about how he suggests the Phantom Thieves be crushed when they've yet to be arrested. If this Sukumara incident was not the Phantom Thieves, if they only change the hearts of criminals, then even though they can't be considered innocent, perhaps my goals are not so different from theirs. Are you a fanboy? <laughs> I knew there was something special about you. Ever since the first time we met, I feel as though I could tell you anything during our conversations. Oh, that reminds me. I've been invited to a panel at Shujin Academy and Ah, wait. I'm sure you know that already. Considering it's such a good opportunity, I've decided to accept the offer. Thank you for the coffee. It was delicious. Glad you liked it. I'm happy I could see you. I'll be going now. Oh, I didn't notice I had gotten a response from Akechikun. He accepted the lecture invitation. Well done. Thank you. The first step is done, at least. Either way, the real issue is what we do next. The lecture is on the afternoon is on the afternoon of the second day. Yes? Wait, you're coming to our school festival? 
It's during my exam week, so I'll be able to go in the afternoon. Can you afford that distraction? How's your studying going? Decently. Incidentally, well, will that counselor be at the festival as well? Oh, Dr. Maruki? Probably. I see. Finally, I shall witness his skills for myself. Perhaps I should prepare a gift. They say first impressions are everything. I don't know if he'll even be there. If anything gets confirmed, I'll drop you a line. Much obliged. You wanna come too, Futaba? Come on, it'll be fun! Seriously? I don't see why not. We should all go, we should all walk around together tomorrow. Sounds good. At a time like this? This is the perfect chance for us to relax, though. Haru, um, you sure you're okay? This seems a little soon. I am. Thank you. I've just always dreamed of walking around my school festival with friends. I suppose if you say it like that, I can resign myself to enjoying our time there, too. Thanks, Haru. It's my pleasure. Damn it. It's no use. All my connections who knew where Kaio was are gone, thanks to the chief of my publisher. Well, say something. Well, you seem tired. You can tell. Well, I guess it is pretty obvious. <sighs> Pulling these consecutive all-nighters is really wearing me down. At this rate, you're going to work yourself to death. You've been meeting your quota, right? Shit, of course. They're dr they'll fire me if I show any signs of weakness. The chief really wants me to mess up, but I'm not going to give him the satisfaction. <laughs> he's like he's some kind of tyrant. Tell me about it. It's a race to see whether I can find Kaio before he crushes me. That's not good. Shouldn't you do something about the chief before you keep chasing Kaio-chan's case? There's some, nothing I can do about a guy like that. He's rotten to the core. In spite how he acts, the higher-ups like him. I have no one to go to. It's over. Yeah, he didn't seem like the kind of guy to change his mind. But at this rate, you won't be able to continue your investigation. What do you think, kid? I wanna die. What's the chief's name? Why? You wanna try to find his weakness? His name is Shinpai Hanyo. I heard that he's a good husband and he used to cover economic foreign policy. Ugh. I hope it's just me overthinking things, but he's seen your face, you know? Don't go trying anything heroic. She said this for your own good. Got it, kid? <sighs> I wonder where Kaio is. Sorry, but I don't feel like getting any info from you today. Sorry. Thanks for coming all the way out here, though. I'll see you around. Do I have to? The festival seems to be a success. There's definitely a lot more people than last year. Well, yeah. This place got famous and all. Phantom Thieves, Kamoshida, Principal Kobayakawa. On top of that, we got a catchy as a guest. There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Actually, they probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. Acting like normal students is going to be important. What do you normally do at a school festival? Look around at the exhibits and eat stuff? There's no set rules for this kind of thing. Walk around and hang out, like when we went to the beach. Just enjoy yourselves. I think I can do it if I've got everyone with me. You're so laid back. There's a possibility that your name and Ryuji's have come up. Yeah. A number of the teachers had been questioned before, and even we were interviewed the other day, too. Don't let your guard down too much. 
It's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time, making it easier to get tracked. All right. Now, now, let's leave it at that. We just need to be mindful about what we're saying, correct? Oh, um... <sighs> you seem to be having quite a lot of fun, Haru. You did mention that you were looking forward to this. I want to go around with everyone, and eat at the refreshment stands. This will be a great change of pace from all the nasty stuff lately. Shall we head off to the stands then? Hey, let's do it. All right. This is your first time at our school festival. They're pretty good, from what I've heard. I know a great one. Follow me. This is the place. Made takoyaki? New customers! I'll show you all to your seats. So, it's your classes stand. It's still a refreshment stand, isn't it? It's like a deserted island here. Well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. We heard a lot of rumors even on our way here. And it was all bullshit. Here she comes. Act normal. Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. Welcome home. May I take your order? Take my order? W what happened to the maid atmosphere? There are a lot of odd flavors. Stick to a normal one. I bet they... I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. The hell? Well then, I'll have the mentai cheese takoyaki. I'm sorry. We're out of cod, bro. Then how about the squid? Um, we're currently out catching squid. It'll probably take another five or six hours. That doesn't even sound remotely possible! Ain't this whole menu just a sham? Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. We didn't put too much effort into the octopus. Oh, I can see that! Ryuchi, you're making a scene! Then, what would you recommend with what you have now? That would be the Russian takoyaki. We'll have that, please. This will take a little time. Uh, let's forget about the octopus and get back on topic. On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. I've even heard conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. I kept hearing about Goro Akechi's popularity. All thanks to the Phantom Thieves. You know, did that Akechi guy agree to show up here because he believes we didn't kill anybody? Or he may simply love large gatherings. Oh, true. He didn't seem like he minded being pampered by the media at all. We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. I'm gonna be bummed if that happens. Is the takoyaki done yet? You are so carefree. Does it mean that you have nerves of steel in any situation? Don't fucking panic. Still, it doesn't change the fact that we don't know what Akechikun is planning. Thank you for the wait. Ooh, it's fresh made. Lies, I heard a microwave go off. Well, it's not like I was expecting crispy takoyaki at a school festival or anything. So, what makes this a Russian takoyaki? Could there be jam in it as a secret ingredient? That sounds quite delicious. Well, one of these is special. Uh, one of them's obviously red. That's gotta be the one. Dude, don't tell me the Russian part means... It's like, going for the obvious one is manly. I is that so? Well, I'd prefer the most beautifully shaped one. But all of them are misshapen. Oh, aren't you all going to eat? I think I'll go for the special one. Wait, is she honestly going for it? Do you want to go for the red one? Oh. Ooh, impressive as always. Oh, everyone's all here. The panel isn't until tomorrow, though. I came to check out the venue. I can't make any mistakes, since a lot of people will be present. 
someone's eager. But people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. That's because you were sloppy. I grew tired of the baseless rumors they kept bringing up. So I escaped to where there weren't any people. I'm going to have one of these. <gasps> the special one! Let's just call this my performance fee. But... Okay. It's fine. Hmm. It's quite the... <laughs> Eating it in one bite is a bad idea. <gasps> my throat. This is... Oh, oh my stomach. It burns. Are you okay? Do you need water? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm fine. I just love uh, spicy, oh, spicy stuff. <laughs> hey, does he sound broken to you? Well then, I'll, I'll see you uh, t t tomorrow. Wow, he's really trying to hold it together. He's waddling around like some comedian. It's like he wants to get picked up for some commercial or something. But did he truly come to simply check the venue? This isn't good. I keep suspecting every little thing. I know what you mean. I'm doing the same too. I need to do my best tomorrow. We need to somehow get him to be our source of intel. I'm gonna pull this off no matter what. That a catchy guy. When he got here, didn't he say that everyone's all here? Everyone? You're here just imagining things. Yeah, sure, sure, we do. So, I guess we got through all of it, okay? Yes, but the associated mental fatigue was extraordinary. Being cautious takes a lot out of you. Seriously, I think I'm as tired now as I am after midterms. <laughs> I didn't mind any of that. I just love seeing that detective gulp down the special takoyaki. I had fun as well, since I got to spend time with you all. What would you like to do now, Haru? Walk around a little more? I appreciate the gesture, but I'm satisfied with stopping here. Why don't we go home and rest up? We'll have to deal with the Kachikun again tomorrow, after all. I have to agree. What will his next move be? Oh? Wait. Uh, Reginald, Yusuke's missing. Uh, where do you wa wander off to? Always doing whatever he pleases. Think he's still checking out all the festival stalls? Let's head back. Well, I'm sure he'll be fine. This is Yusuke we're talking about. Let's head home. Um... Excuse me, you are Dr. Takuto Maruki, correct? Uh, yes. I... My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I'm a student in the Fine Arts Division at Kosei High. I do apologize for interrupting your day, but ever since Ryuji and An first spoke of you, I've grown quite intrigued. Now I wish to speak with you as well. Uh, Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san? Quite. Well, I'm flattered that you've taken an interest in me. You're here about the counseling, correct? Indeed. Correct. Now, teach me how to unshackle the human heart and glimpse into its endless abyss. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, hold on there. How should I put this? Your enthusiasm is appreciated, but I suspect there's a huge misunderstanding about what I do. I apologize, I simply couldn't contain my, my excitement. Would you still permit me to witness your counseling skills in action? That, that's not really allowed. <laughs> how about it? Oh, but how about this? Okay, thank Okay, thank you. Why not try out our count my counseling yourself instead? Me? 
Mm -hmm. Of course, Th there's no charge. All you have to do is chat with me for a bit. Well then. Very well. You and I shall go head to head. <laughs> I'm not sure what you think happens in counseling, but uh, there won't be any of that. I see. So you were Madarame-sans. It's in the past. How curious. I never imagined counseling to be like this. Well, uh... Well, I'd say this is less counseling and more about building a rapport. When someone first comes to me, we always start with them telling me a bit about themselves. Hmm. Hmm. A method of self-reflection that relies on speaking with another person so as to sort through one's own emotions. That's rather similar to the internal cross-examination I perform when working on my art. There really shouldn't be any cross-examining in a proper counseling session, though. I just do my best to guide patients in a positive direction so they can improve their lives. At the very least, I talk them through their problems so they can make the correct choices for themselves. I see. However, if you're the only leading... If you're the one leading them to their conclusion, are they truly making the choices for themselves? Isn't that just submitting to another person's will? In all honesty, I'm sure there are people out there who think that. But life in this world confines people to certain frames of mind sometimes, and without them even realizing it. If I can help lift the weight off their shoulders and free their minds, I believe the results are worth it. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much for speaking with me. This has been a most valuable experience. Oh, yes. Uh, before you go, Katagua-kun, what would you say is your greatest wish in life at the moment? Would it be success as an artist? I... No, uh, that's not it. The only desire I have for my art is for it to improve through my own efforts. I see. And what would you wish for? would wish for the world to see my mother's painting for the masterpiece that it is, no matter how briefly. And if at all possible, I would also wish to meet a wonderful master, who, one who would take me in and guide my brush with care. Hmm. Mm, I see. All right. At Thank any you. rate, I must be going now, so please excuse me. I, I hope we meet again someday. Apologies for suddenly disappearing like that. The legend of the lost Inari has come to an end! Where the hell were you? Did you seriously get lost? I saw a man who resembled a Dr. Maruki, so I went to see him. So he was there? Did you go to, to his counseling? Yes, it was certainly not what I was expecting. Once this is all over, I think I'd like to go to another session. Try not to cause him any trouble, alright? I'll do my best. Are you all at home? Yes. Are you still at school, Yusuke? No, I'm just back in my dorm. I'm getting ready for bed. Already? Is that usual? Is that unusual? Tomorrow is Akechi-kun's panel, after all. Any early night means he'll be able to concentrate tomorrow. That's true. We'll need to stay focused tomorrow. We have to stay calm, no matter what he says. Right, I'll keep that in mind. Photo <laughs> time! This is when we were at the food stand. Man, even yakisoba looks high class when Haru's eating it. 
Please, you're exaggerating. I think this is the first time having yakisoba from a food stand, though. It was more delicious than I'd imagined. It was! It wasn't the instant stuff, but still good. Yeah, don't know why, but food from a stall is always weirdly tasty. Speaking of, where are the pictures of us on? Hmm? You got pics of us too, right? How about the one you took of Reginald's yakisoba? With the big red mountain of ginger? Oh, no, that one went straight into the trash. I had dry seaweed all over my teeth. he knows. He talks about the Phantom Thieves are dangerous, yet he says they haven't committed any murders. Either he has an idea who the true culprit is, or he has uncovered the identities of the Phantom Thieves. Come on, Makoto. You gotta get it out of him. As much as you're allowed to say, would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them? Getting right to the point, I see. Well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. We don't have any leads yet, and the methods behind their crimes are still unclear. I see. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? I wouldn't phrase it that way, but, well, something like that. Thank you for answering that question. By the way, it seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. Why the sudden change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? How are you so positive that they haven't committed murder? Are you a little too comfortable interrogating people? Why it's as if you're a prosecutor. been interested in, so I couldn't help it. But won't you tell us? What reason is there that you'd claim their innocence when you previously stated they were unjust? Mako-chan's really pressing for an answer. She's pelting him with questions. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? Why is that? I must admit, I couldn't deduce a reason. That's why I believe that case should be thought of as if a different party is responsible. And if, this is all hypothetical, mind you. If the Phantom Thieves are the ones I know of, I can't possibly imagine they would kill anyone. Your comment just now. Does this mean the police have already identified who they are? Oh, no. The police haven't gotten that far yet. But I have my own conclusions about the true identities of the Phantom Thieves. He's gotta be bluffing. Pipe down. He's lying, right? But if it's the truth... You're not going to ask me who they are? It may have repercussions on the investigation. Are you sure you can share that with us? It's only my personal opinion, so announcing that here wouldn't pose a problem. However, there is a possibility that everyone present will hear the truth before the police or media. The truth? What's he planning on saying? That's quite the confidence you have. If you're so certain, 
Then very well. I'd like to ask you then. Who do you think the Phantom Thieves are, Akenji-san? That idiot! No. There's no way he could have any evidence. They're people you all know quite well. The identity of the Phantom Thieves are... Oh, it's mine. I apologize for the interruption, but I can't turn off my phone due to my job. Would you mind if I step away for about ten minutes or so? I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. We'll resume the panel in ten minutes. Please don't troll me online for this interruption, okay? Is there a room I may use? There's the PE faculty office. I want you to come too. There's a matter I want to discuss. Your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them too, if that's all right? Did you set this up? We only have ten minutes, you know. What do you want to talk about? No! That's gotta be shopped! I have video footage, too. Please, let's not feign ignorance. All of you can go to that other world, too. Yes. Us, too? It's not just all of you. I am aware of that world, too. I also know that when you traverse over there, your appearance changes as well. It's because of those mysterious powers, isn't it? I found out about that world about a month ago. This had been installed onto my phone without my knowledge. Dude, it's the NAV. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to it. We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional... All of you are acting as phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction, because I have the same power as you. I'll take your silence as confirmation. In all honesty, I've been curious about you since the time of the Matarame case. But to think it would end up like this... We didn't kill anyone! I believe that as well. How can you be so sure? Because I saw another. The real culprit. For real? Who was it? I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on, after all. Actually, when I took these photos, I entered that world, too. That's when I saw someone else moving about, besides all of you. He shot at me the moment he noticed me. That's who killed President Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. I can't die here. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. This guy has a persona too? This cat. I swear, it just... talked. Morgana, our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. <laughs> really? This is unbelievable, but it is true that you know things that I don't. Say, Morgana, were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? I experienced that world too, but I still haven't solved that mystery yet. We go in the metaverse, and we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires, their treasure, and those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Ah. <laughs> There's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an M.O. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Someone else is behind the murders. However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? I can't overlook such a grave mistake, which is precisely why I want us to strike a deal. I may be able to save you from this situation. A deal? I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. And if we decline? 
then I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you. Along with that video I mentioned. This ain't no deal, it's blackmail! Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Justice. You've heard that Sai-san is the one spearheading the investigation about you phantom thieves, correct? The higher-ups are concerned only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on Sai-san. I can only imagine her impatience. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established. Sai-san can't make rational judgments at the moment. If she were to be cornered, well... She may even make up a confession. Make it up? So, they're gonna make it all our fault? Just cause they feel like it? We haven't killed anyone though! And we're still going to be arrested? You'll be found guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious crime. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. And that's why you want our cooperation? Yes. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Those are my conditions. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. What should we do about Akechi-san's proposal? Let me think it over. I see. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Well, you don't have to decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. I look forward to your answer. It was definitely worth coming today. For various reasons. We should be getting back. About that. I'm sorry. Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel. Correct? My business is concluded as well. I'll deal with it somehow. Damn it! He had complete control over us! Hey, they're going! I'm sorry about the sudden break. An urgent task came in. So, I truly apologize about this. But I'll have to end things here today. To make up for the time that was planned for this panel, the Rakugo Research Club will instead be... I can't say anything in detail regarding the Phantom Thieves' investigation. But I feel another great stride will occur again soon. I hope you all continue to pay attention to what happens. Let's have a big round of applause for today's guest, Goro Akechi. Was that really our best course of action? He totally used Makoto's suggestion against us. Indeed. We intended to get intel out of him, but to think it would play out like this. So what? We'll just accept his deal? He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Damn it! What are we gonna do? Calm down, Ryuji. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. We need to give this a lot of thought. Similar occurrences followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. Furthermore, new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Why did Futaba have something like this? If a calling card was delivered, we can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. If so, those occurrences back in spring can be attributed to them as well. Moreover... I knew it. She's... 
Oh, God. The post-festival party is about to begin in the gymnasium. Please join us, everybody. Eh, nobody invited you to it, so let's just go home. What? What? Huh? Huh? Oh, huh? Okay. Senpai, aren't you going to the post-festival party? Uh, not sure yet. Then why don't we go together? Festivals don't come around every day, so we may as well enjoy it while we can. <laughs> it seems like it's already begun. Let's get in there, Senpai! And now, it's time for your favorite Shuji tradition! The Student Sharing Special! <sighs> but, before that, we've decided to change things up this year. We've got a huge surprise for you all! While everyone dances is embarrassing. Senpai, let's do it! Senpai. Hey, you're Yoshizawa's son, right? The first year? We've got a little favor to ask you. Got it. I'm in. Senpai, I'll be back soon. They've asked me to help them with something. Just wait here, and watch what happens. But what a blast! I feel like I danced my heart out back there. So I could tell. Uh, thank you. Wow, that 
dance was amazing. I know, right? I was totally blown away. <laughs> It's my dad. He's telling me to come home before it gets too late. Sorry to leave you like this, but I have to get going. Careful getting home. I will. Please excuse me. The post-festival party was so much fun. Especially with you. See you soon! Yeah, that's definitely not how high school dances go. Do you have any uh, plans after this? All the girls are bombarding me about questions about Akechi Kun. I don't know any of the answers they want either. Oh, I know. Why don't we go to the post-festival party together? Post-festival party is about to begin. Would you like to go together? I tried to think about what happened earlier, but that has gotten me nowhere. So I could use a change of pace. How about it? Yo, festival party! Yes, duh. I'm glad to hear that. It'll be a great, nice change of pace. Well then, I'll head over to the gymnasium. Apologies for being so distracted. I can't stop thinking about Akechi-kun. Are we really no match for him? Don't worry about it. Thank it's you. Good. And now it's time for your favorite Shujin tradition! The Student Sharing Special! Round of applause, everyone! This event is never very popular. The older teachers seem to enjoy it for some reason, though. He's choosing from the crowd? The MC this year is actually somewhat capable. Ooh, is that our lovely student council president over there? Huh? Come on up here, Miss Prez. Do I have to go? I'll never forget you. That's not really the proper use for that phrase. Everybody's waiting for you, Miss President. <sighs> surprised if you've had any time to study for your entrance exams. Now then, on with the show. What would you like to share with us today, Miss President? <laughs> Miss President? Um, I don't really have anything to say. Sorry. Here, I'll give you a question. Do you think the Phantom Thieves are really Shujin students? What? Oh? He's going in for We're all dying to know what a Kechikun was going to say about their true identities. Some people theorize that they go to our very school. So, are they from Shujin? What do you think, Miss President? What do I think? That's... <gasps> ah, I've always loved you! Yes. Now this is drama! A boy caught in the throes of bittersweet youth! Fool of myself. Post festival party has never felt that long before. By the way, 
I'm surprised you were able to say what you did back there. I couldn't ignore you. Huh? I was at a complete loss for words. You really helped me. Thank you. This may be a little rude to say, but you were surprisingly reliable in a pinch. Thanks, babe. My sister always says if I get married, my husband should be someone dependable like that. Oh, um, uh, forget what I just said. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, <laughs> sure. <clears throat> you say a little hubba 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 hubby? Uh -huh. Despite everything that happened with the kun my final post-festival party has turned out to be quite the unforgettable one. Oh, right. Here. Donuts! If you'd accept this. <laughs> Is this a proposal of the donut? <laughs> that sounds amazing. <laughs> it's delicious. I hope you enjoy it. Come. Let's go home. Welcome home. You took off somewhere during the festival, huh? I tried to find you, but I gave up pretty quickly. Taba? What are you doing here in front of the store? I needed to calm my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. Not just a catchy, but other stuff too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. But anyway, I was just thinking about going inside, so your timing is perfect. Let's go. The mass media has been causing quite a commotion lately. No countermeasure for the Phantom Thieves, the sorry state of the police, destruction of safety. They're saying whatever they want. So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. <laughs> well, this is troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. But, sir... I had high expectations for you. But it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now. Even before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. We can't let this case carry over into their term. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. Oh, one more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. To you, sir? I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? Yes. Everything is proceeding as planned. <laughs> We're home! Sojiro? I was cleaning up and found this. This is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. Y you went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean... 
It was memorable. Explain. Explain. Can't tell me? Explain. Hey, if this keeps up, Futaba's... I'll explain everything. I'm talking to Futaba here, you know. I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Did they trigger a change of heart in you? <laughs> How about it? Ever since Mom died, I... There was n no exit. I was trapped in in a labyrinth of my heart. I knew I had to leave it, but I, I couldn't do it by myself. Futaba. Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. Seriously? Okaba's <sighs> research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too. But still. When did you notice? When she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere. And even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> At first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here, day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought, your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow! I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. Sojiro... But to think that Wakaba's research and the phantom thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. Back in the day, I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking, that one of these days, she might die a bizarre death. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? And then, there's Futaba. You always seem to be linked to these incidents somehow. Got anything to say? Sorry for keeping quiet. You know what people call them? Criminals. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Asked? Stole? Uh, um... Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? He doesn't just deal with the Phantom Thieves, he's actually one of them? You're pulling my leg, aren't you? This is no joke. Are you serious? You... Really are a phantom thief? Oh, for crying out loud! Sojiro! So, basically, I've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months, and on top of that, Futaba's involved too. What the hell? I. I want to find the culprit who killed my mom! Wait, it killed? She was killed! I... remember it now. Stop this nonsense! Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way Mom died wasn't normal! Didn't 
you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. Run away, hide, and end up here as some old guy running a cafe. To be frank, I took you in for my own good. Like it somehow make up for what I'd done. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. And I end up getting consoled by her. God, real pathetic, aren't I? That's not true. I mean, the one who killed Mom's the one at fault. <sighs> I see. Don't worry, even if you are the real Phantom Thieves, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. I mean, who would believe such a story? Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. Why? Just do as I say. If, by chance, you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? We're done talking about this. Come on. Time to eat. All that yelling's gotten me hungry. Whew. If he turned us in, that would have jeopardized our operation. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Uh, I'm tired. What? He knows everything? You gotta be fucking kidding! Wait, are you okay? Did he report you or anything? We likely wouldn't be receiving these messages if Reginald was not okay. I had a feeling that Boss was, an or was no ordinary man. But he didn't recommend you turn yourself in, did he? I think in that case, we can consider him a new ally. I'm more curious about what he mentioned to you. You mean how our enemy might be the same people who targeted Futaba's mama there? Yes, she was killed by a mental shutdown. The same method used by the culprit we pursue now. Wait, a second though? Wait a second though. Didn't you say Boss had to run from it all? Does that mean someone was trying to stop the news from getting out? Who could do that? Who do you think the culprit could be? A government official. Ain't you letting your imagination run wild a bit? But it would make sense. Wait a sec. If you're right, then wouldn't the police be working for them too? That's not pos- that's not impossible. This is getting too big for even- for, for me to even think about. Can we really win this? We're gonna win, no matter what! That concludes the speech given by Representative Masayo Shishido, who may be forming a new party. <sighs> we now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives, and have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Look. Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further, if I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. That's insane. I hope you understand the situation you're in. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the Phantom Thieves. And it'll happen every day, even at school. Why did this happen? I'm sorry. This isn't about me. 
Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? No. I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. I feel bad about what we've done to the Chief. I'm responsible too. Did you see that reward? <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. With this, the Phantom Thieves have become public enemy number one. <laughs> exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. Yo, you see the news? I had braced myself for this possibility. Actually, having a wanted notice out for us feels kind of weird. I'm not sure you're gonna get away this time. Our backs are truly against the wall now. Discussing is it here won't do us any good though. Let's talk more in person. We're wanted now. And the reward's 30 million yen? What is this, a comic book? <laughs> it feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. We are finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what-ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Mejed. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah, the enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No, because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kanashiro cases were coincidental. Wasn't that the case with Kamashita too? Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap? It's nothing of the sort. There's the fake Medjad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. All I could think about was my fiancé. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly... Haru? It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kabayakawa died. Damn it! This is bullshit! God! Fuck! Ah! Ryuji! Taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone! Hey. What do you think? Why did we lose? What did we do wrong? They hated us. It's probably because we weren't acting like ourselves. Agreed. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that really is it. I was so caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot! I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults! To think we had begun clinging onto fame and a place to belong that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves. But we lost sight of our original cause. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto. Damn it. I know that we've been set up. And that I was a complete idiot too. But still, it's so damn frustrating. Of course I want to do something about this. Yeah. We'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against. And whether they're an individual or an organization. 
Furthermore, they must be in a position of power, or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Are we really a match for this? Should we end this now? I mean, things might get worse for everyone. Hey, what should we do? Let's table the turns. Yeah, running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. We'd be dumping everything we stand for just to save our own asses. I see. I take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. Absolutely not like this. Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Yeah. It's me. Um, about me yelling earlier, being framed, and the added bounty, it all felt like such bullshit. I lost it. I'm sorry. I know how you You too? It is confusing. We're wanted criminals now. Maybe I haven't changed at all since that time we went up against Kamoshida. I wanted to be a Phantom Thief because I thought even someone like me could be a hero. It made me so happy to be depended on. Guess it all went straight to my head. I thought I could do anything if it was for justice, but that'd make me no different from our targets. I called them shitbags, but I must be the shittiest of shitbags. I can't even joke about it. You can still change. You're right. I can start by changing who I am now. Thanks. I feel like I can think straight now. Oh, I scared Haru and Futaba, didn't I? I'll have to apologize to them soon. See ya. What else should I do? I got a message from Akachi-kun. He wants us to gather at LeBlanc tomorrow after school. Who does he think he is trying to boss us around like that? Tomorrow? That's sudden. This is directly after the reward announcement. There must be a calculated reason for this too. We'll be all okay. Right? We'll manage. Yeah, we're going to overcome this, together. Regardless, I don't want anyone disturbing our pace tomorrow. Let's go about this calmly. Well, we'll see you all tomorrow. We've reached a crucial moment. There's no point fretting about it now, though. Let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. sinking ship. We have the power to change this. Let us end this chaos through my hands and yours. He's a politician of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Politics just never interested me before. But this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? Quit effing around! Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to Sai-san's actions. I assume all of you are at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. True. 
I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it! I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in sai Sun. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Huh? Really? Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change her heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? You saying the police would do such a thing? It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! They're completely rotten! My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you, too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Our only solution to this is to make Sai-san come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why... The truth will be covered up. And an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand for it. I mean... I guess I can understand how you feel. And changing Sai-san's heart will be to protect her as well. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai-san's heart. She'll be a fine warning to others not to meddle with you any further. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. <sighs> what do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. Makoto, what's your take on all this? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge. And extremely personal. Dude. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? True. Yeah, like how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai-san's heart? We will. Thanks. <laughs> I was actually rather worried there. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. Mako-chan. I'm okay. I never brought it up until now. But the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping I wouldn't have to resort to it, though. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Why didn't you tell us? It was too selfish of a reason. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me. So I'd like to get myself accustomed to it, too. I I'm sorry. I actually have plans today. I see. That's unfortunate. Will you tell your sister about this? Of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? 
I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day then, and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? This is about her sister. Well, I guess that can't be helped. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. Akechi? Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? And he had already experienced the Metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although, his attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi Kun kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a Phantom Thief? If this is all true, I was out of the loop the entire time I led the investigation. What a joke. So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? That's right. That does make sense, more or less. If you simply wanted to evade capture, triggering my change of heart wouldn't guarantee anything. Your actions as phantom thieves would still be met with hostility. No. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? What were you talking about? <laughs> Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Hey! You need to keep your focus. It seems you're completely worn out. But the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? I haven't lost yet. I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. No, I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something I need to confirm with you. Was a change of heart triggered in me? What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. What's this favor you need? It's late already. We'll be going to Nijima's palace, so I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. A girl shouldn't say things like that! You tell her too! Stop it. Don't do that, please. I thought you'd like that. What? No! Boy! She is an adult. I am a kid. Do not put that in my brain. Ahem. Also, I may be overthinking it, but my voice... Ow! Same as always. Let me finish first! <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into.
Where are we meeting today? Oh, right. We were never told where to meet up. At the courthouse. Where's that? Hint. The government office district. Kasumi Gasuke. Correct. Ah. I've heard of that place. Never been there, Bo. Me neither. It's not somewhere normal people usually go. Whoa, just looking at that map is impressive. The police department, ministry of justice, public prosecutor's office, and public security? The Dia building is right there too. For real? What kind of crazy, scary pace are we going to? We won't get caught, right? According to akechi -kun, our identities haven't been discovered yet. So we are just going to plunge headfirst into enemy territory. Has anyone contacted Gekechi? We're going to meet him there. Be on guard, everyone. We'll be heading into a lion's den. So this is the courthouse. You can tell it's a revolting building just by looking at it. Let's hurry up and get started. Akechi, what did you find out? I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy, as well as the Sakura residence. For real? Then that means our time limit is November 20th. Still, there will be quite a bit of red tape involved. I doubt it'll take place before the 20th. We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her palace. I concur. And we should probably get going soon. After all, People like us standing around here is quite unnatural. Well then? <gasps> That's... Huh? What about my smartphone? This is the model I wanted! You're so lucky! I'm so sorry. Until recently, Futaba was actually a... Well... It's okay. Sai-san told me the gist. Oh, right. Uh, Akechi-kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, too. Not just me. That's true. Ooh. <sighs> I'll send everyone's contacts to you later. Thanks. Well then, I hope we get along. I'll do my best. You've got a good personality and good looks? Talk about cheating. She's praising you, I believe. Then shall we get started? We need to figure out what Makoto's sis thinks this courthouse is, right? I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. A competition, huh? That sounds like Sai-san. It'd be unbearable if you were put on trial for a reason like that. Although, a competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it be a martial arts ring? Conditions have not been met. Then perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? Conditions have not been met. There are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Gambling then! How about a racetrack for horses? Other than that, there's pachinko, but does that count as gambling? We played cards during the school trip. Conditions have not been met. What else is there? It must be a casino. Candidate found. I definitely see Sai-san in you. <sighs> well, it's time we head in then. Beginning navigation. Head right past there, and keep a low profile. <laughs> That's it, huh? What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. <gasps> I spoke. <laughs> The 
Art House is a casino. Everywhere else seems to be a normal cityscape. Isn't that... The police station, yes. I didn't know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Our attire hasn't changed. That must mean we aren't considered threats or hostiles yet. Right. Areas outside her courthouse palace must not be worthy of her attention. Wait, I always look like this. I'm special. Besides, I can't do anything in my cat form. The police station's also part of her work area, though. Whenever arrests are made for her cases, I have brought her food and belongings when she was sent on loan to the police. We got no business with the cops, right? This might be the metaverse, but I don't want to go in a station. That reminds me. He'll need a code name too. Code name? Well, Phantom thieves can't go around using the real names, right? It ain't cool either. Just for reference, what is everyone else's? Skull. Mine's Fox. We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? What is it, Haru? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Then, perhaps Karasu will be best for me. You know, like a raven. Are your clothes all black or something? The reverse, actually. If our codenames are to hide our identities, wouldn't that be better? Karasu... He'd be the only Japanese-sounding one. Why not go with Crow instead? All right? From here on out, you're Crow. Got it. Now then, let's head into the courthouse. Now then. Okay. So, this means we're acknowledged as a threat, correct? Dude, you planning on stealing stuff in that getup? It just means that's what he thinks a rebel looks like. No. This is my mental image of a person who sticks to their justice. Well, I think your mask is more apt for piercing rather than sticking. That aside, the people in here look completely normal. But we're in a flashy casino. There's no doubt this is a palace. Oh, right. Crow doesn't know too much about cognitive beings, does he? Ah, yes. In addition to similar topography, cognitive people exist based on the ruler's perceptions. That probably didn't make much sense because all the fancy terms he was using, huh? In essence, since these look like real people, Saison's view of others is surprisingly undistorted. Considering what I see before me, it's difficult to believe it is not actually a real casino. Not all cognitions are normal, though. In Futaba and Okumura's palaces, we had to battle them. People may look normal, but we should be careful. Particularly of those in positions of power. Is this what you have to go through every time? That's right. Hmm. This is a first for me. I'm somewhat nervous. Just don't slow us down, Crow. I will not allow that to happen. Okay. It's time we head inside. Our deadline for this infiltration is November 20th. Any later and we'll get caught in reality. Of course, we'll need to secure an infiltration route before we send out the calling card. As always. So the calling card wasn't merely for show? It's a necessary step? Will you please stop interrupting? My apologies. Well then, let's go. I feel somewhat nervous. Welcome. Come on out, you petty thieves. She can see us? You're after the treasure, are you not? Come on down, and I will tell you where it is. What? We're not going to fall for a trick like that. <laughs> it's not a lie. I only wish to do this fair and square. You aren't going to run, are you? We should do as she says. There is no point in hiding any longer. <clears throat> so you've come. The treasure is located on the manager's floor, at the highest point of this building. Why are you telling us this? It's as I said before. 
I wish to go about this in the fairest manner possible. First, I ask that you come up to my location. We will continue this there. Damn it! Over there! It seems we'll be able to use that elevator to reach higher floors. Come, Joker. Let us pursue her. Authentication required. Please insert your member's card. Member's card? Perhaps it bears relation to a player's club of sorts. I can't handle your technical speak! Just give me it straight! Casinos typically have a membership system called a player's club. Some locations even have areas cordoned off for particular ranks of player. Considering the setup of this place, I thought things may be similar here. That'll make this shit simple. Come on, let's join this player thingy. I would agree with you, but... A shadow! As I expected, registration will not be such a simple matter. She must be daring us to challenge the security of this place to make it to her. Here it comes! No need to worry. I'll handle this. I need to prove my worth to you, after all. I have high expectations. I promise to surpass even such lofty hopes as those. Well then, let us begin. Don't worry, you can leave this one to me. Take them down, Robin Hood! It's a step forward. Hmm. You're right. Today was truly one surprise after another. I hope we continue to thrive in our work together. Agreed. We will need to explain the steps we take, though. That is unnecessary. First we secure an infiltration route, then send the calling card, correct? In doing so, the core of the ruler's distorted desires will manifest into a physical form. By taking that core, the change of heart will be triggered. I deduce the steps would be do something along those lines. A plus. It ain't as easy as it sounds. Don't underestimate this shit. I am not underestimating anything. I assure you. By the way, Nijima-san's shadow seemed really confident. Yes, there's no knowing what may await. Let's continue cautiously. Very well. You will let me know when you enter the palace. Yes. Of course. Perfect. I will be able available at any time you need me. That's enough for now. Let's prefer, prepare well for the coming task. Ah, uh, yes. My apologies for somewhat derailing this conversation. We will be counting on you, Akachi. Failure is not an option here. Yes, I'll do my best to live up to all of your expectations. The crucial moment's finally here. Give it all you've got. Okay. Things have really soured. There's even a bounty on you guys. I seriously believe the fan thieves are innocent. By the way, I changed up the survey question. It's already in flames, though. It's a problem for me, too, if people don't think the Phantom Thieves are heroes. Just try and clear the stigma on your name as soon as you can, okay? I'm counting on you. So people are turning on us even in his survey? Our popularity is really at an all-time low. This time has finally come. No matter what happens, we have to change her heart. I'll be counting on you. We may all have our own unique way of doing things, but we should just proceed forward as usual. 
Leave it to me. Don't worry, Reginald. I trust you. That's why I ask that you lend me your help. Hey! Okay. 